Come with us now, if you dare, down a rickety staircase into a dank, dark basement. What awaits? The Saturday Night Freak Show. (laughs) Thanks for listening to the Saturday Night Freak Show podcast, a movie review podcast that comes your way every Saturday, whether you're ready for it or not. You can find us on iTunes or Apple Podcasts or several other great places where you can find the best podcasts available. Hmm. We're probably there. If we're not there, let us know, and we'll try to get there. Uh, you Colin can also, is on two times speed tonight. Well, just in case, right? I want to I want to mess it up for the people who are trying to listen to us and have a two times speed. I wonder what we <laughs> sound like. <laughs> you sound like a munchkin. Speed, yeah, <laughs> that's right. Saturday Night Freak Show, the the podcast that must be played at one speed. <laughs> Somebody um, told us that once. They tried to listen to us on double speed. No, they said we, they listened we the to only, all their other ones. Yeah. But ours and when we were the, the only one yeah. they couldn't. Yeah. No, yeah. he said they, we were the only one that he didn't want to listen to. Right. Oh, yeah. oh, he that's better. To, I wanted to like, savor oh. it. Oh, that's yeah. better. It was really sweet. Appreciate it real time. Yeah, it was nice. Uh, well, uh, let's <laughs> let the gold. Our, this is gold coming out of these mouths. I mean, you know, I mean, you got to hear this at the speed of life. Right. There you go. So what is that from? Right to us. That's from I just I made it right now. I don't think you did. I've, no, I seriously think that's like a Christian organization. I was going to say, there's oh, speed God. of life. Oh, speed the light. That's it. Never mind. Okay. Never mind. Uh, it sounds there's, like there's, an Andrew there's Nichol a speed movie. of life quote, there, like going off of the is. speed of light thing out oh, there. Oh. There's, like, there's 60 years of there's advertising out there. Crazy. Somebody came up with it. We're yeah. not geniuses. Yeah. We definitely did not come up with that now. All right. Well, no. Sean, why don't you tell us how people can get a hold of us uh, on Facebook? Do it on Twitter. Uh, I'll do Twitter, Colin. Okay. Thanks. <laughs> on Twitter. What are you doing, Colin? This uh, is not the order. On Twitter, it's at Set Freak Show. Thanks. All right, but on Facebook, Michaela. Facebook.com slash Set Freak Show. By email, Set at Freak Show at Yahoo.com. And Colin on Instagram at Saturday Night Freak Show. Who are the internet radio superstars? Sean. Michaela. Holly. And that's Colin drinking a beer. Uh, I can't sorry, you caught me right remember here. whose pick it is now. And you think I'm going to remember <laughs> where they can find to listen to us or talk when, to us? When you go out of order, especially. I know. Yes. We're mixing everything trying up tonight. To just like screw this thing up from the, the beginning? fresh. For, keep you know, us on our yeah. toes? Uh-huh. Well, you trying to wake us up a little bit? A little bit. Yeah, Holly, wake up. Where we put to sleep. Sorry. Okay, so whose uh, choice Holly. of movie oh. was it tonight? Mm. It was Holly's. Me. Uh, Hi. Holly what did we watch up. tonight? Um, <laughs> We watched Lake Placid. From the year. 1999. Directed by. Steve Miner. Who we would know from. Uh, We would know him from Friday the 13th Part 2 and 3 and House and uh, Halloween H20 and Ooh. the 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 lovable soul man. Oh no. What? Oh no. What? Like, hopefully a future <laughs> hopefully a future free show pick at some point soul man. soul man. Soul man. Oh, oh, Sean, we have uh, talked Saint about Thomas soul man. How, he, he overdoses he, on tanning pills and turns black to yeah. get into college. Blackface so he can go to college. Yep. Holy so, shit. Yeah, We've yeah, talked yeah. about this before. Yeah. 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 It's a classic yeah. from like 1985. Good luck finding it people. <laughs> Did he also Did do lock that away in the Yeah, racist they're vault? trying to. I, I'm Can pretty, you not get that movie? I don't think so. I think it's pretty hard to come by. I'm pretty sure I've told this story before, but I met C. Thomas Howell once at a convention, and it was a really long line. And I got out of line after meeting him, and I walked back, and I saw someone like halfway back in the line with a Soul Man VHS, and I was like, <laughs> "Good luck, man. You really think he's going to sign that? Like, oh, yeah, maybe he's proud of it. Uh, maybe he's like, yeah, it's a good it. movie. Maybe, it has a cult following. Maybe he gets a kick out of it. Yeah, yeah. maybe. Like when you um, look back at old stupid pictures, I don't know of if it's a risk I'd take. I think yeah, it was his highest not. grossing movie like of his career, probably more like, than classic. The Outsiders. Really? Probably not more than H two O. What The Outsiders? Yeah, I'm talking about C. Thomas Howell. Oh, I thought you were talking about no, C. C. Thomas Howell. No, we're still C. on blackface yeah, we're C. Black Thomas Howell right yeah. now. Well, yeah, we're C. Minor Howell. directed we're it. So, uh, yeah. Yeah. We're okay. not over that. Yeah. That's amazing. All right. I so if you know don't know, know about, about this movie, movie you should uh, write Go your Google congressman yeah. and try and get Soul Man released on. Blue. Yeah, that and the clown movie from, what's his name? Uh, Jerry Lewis. Yeah, it was The Day the Clown Cried. Cried, yeah. Which didn't. Oh, who was it? Someone claimed to see it at a party. Some famous person. Was it Charlie Sheen that said he's seen it? Somebody I mean, do we believe Charlie Sheen? No, never. I don't believe Charlie Sheen. Never. Not a Someone word. claimed to have seen Charlie it. Charlie Sheen took yeah, a lot of drugs yeah. and a clown was walking around. He's like, holy shit, I saw this yeah. movie. No, so it's like some clown, famous Charlie story, Sheen. though. God damn it, I can't remember who it is. I believe you. Yeah, yeah. No. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Someone claimed to have seen it and was like, it is as fucked up as you think it is and was perpetuating the kind of... Mm-hmm. Mythos it's probably around the most it, so. boring movie ever. Probably. Oh, I'm sure. I'm sure it's really dry, really yeah. slow, really silent. This is a movie about a clown that works in Auschwitz or something yep. like I think that. So, mm-hmm. yeah. yeah, ends up having to lead the kids to the gas chamber. Jesus, mm-hmm. 
Jesus oh, yeah. Christ. Starring yep. uh, Jerry Lewis. Yep. As a fucking oh, sad my God. Yeah. yeah. He made Are you it, not familiar he, with this? He no. He made, made it. He movie. saw it. He's like, yeah. never. Yeah. yeah. Never. He put it in a vault. Oh, my God. Yeah. yeah. This but is, now that he's dead, I kind of figured. This it has to come out, right? There's a no. thing on it. Um, Don't we get it in like 40 years? Like, don't they have to release it in like a certain amount of time? I think whatever the rights, like, some. He, he, Did he will his, it to his estate? His estate is holding it. Yeah. Right. I think at some point. So after he is long and forgotten. Or they it will be free to. Yeah, and then nobody will care. Right, yeah. but it's like 40 years, and then we can watch it. Yeah. Why would anyone make that movie? He, I mean, you know, the path to hell. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Paid with good intentions. Oh, I'm, sure it's it's a, just, I'm you know. sure it's a delightful comedy. No, I think he was trying to do uh, like a drama or something. Okay. I don't know. He sure. probably wanted to be taken at seriously. No, yeah. At no point during that production did anyone be like, I this is he, probably not a good idea. I think he directed it. Oh, I think so too. I'm not yeah. sure what year. Is this had to be 60s or 70s? I don't know. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Day the Clown Cried. Look it up. Oof. Infamous Hollywood thing. But that wasn't the movie that no we watched. No crocodiles right. in that movie. No. no. I mean, is, uh, it might have improved it. Well, this is part he of. He said he's leading the children to crocodiles. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Which Giant is better. Crocodiles. <laughs> <laughs> crocodiles, probably. There it is. So this movie. Uh, so this yeah, movie. Yeah. Lake Placid. Lake Placid. Wow. Right, not Which, the one in New York, guys. No, not the lake, <laughs> not the actual Lake Placid that are, exists in real life in New York. Not it's that not one. Even not called, that one. It's not even called Lake Placid. No, the, 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 the lake in this is not. Nope, it's just a it's it just like, a punny title. Was it's it like dumb. Black Lake or something? It was something. I don't think I realized basic. that no, until it was like, like, uh, this lake viewing. Lake Figarello or something like, like that. It was no, on it was like the uh, the bait shop. Or I think they had it. Okay, so here's the the, was, the thing was, with this movie go. is it is from the mind of David E. Kelly, the yes. legendary uh, television <laughs> writer, producer, showrunner, mm-hmm. who brought us such fantastic television in the '90s as. The practice. Uh, the practice. Boston, L.A. Law. L.A. Law. Boston. Well, Boston legal. He didn't Boston create public. L.A. Law, but yeah, he These are co-created uh, Doogie Howser. Doogie Howser. Yes, he did. Uh, he created Boston Legal. Big yep. Little Lies. Uh, Ellie McBeal, More which we haven't mentioned yet. Ellie McBeal. <laughs> what was the one? Yeah. He did a, another lawyer show, and believe it or not, he, oh, uh, Boston Legal. Wait, women. you're saying a oh. lawyer who became a writer created a lot of lawyer <laughs> shows? A lot of lawyer shows. <laughs> a lot. One of them had like Kyler Lee and two other women as the leads. It lasted for like a season. Chicago Hope. Nope. Did he do that he too? Created that he created that one too. So he did all the Boston yeah. movies and, and all the shows Chicago. and all the yep. Chicago shows. Yep. So Chicago Hope, oh, Boston Legal, up. Boston Public. Yeah. None of that shit's really my bag. I will say, however, that Big Little Lies is actually a really good show. I'm kind of surprised he's had to hit like that, that recently, yeah. honestly. Since I really I've, like that since show. Since I've uh, got my HBO subscription for Game of Thrones, I think I might check out Big Little you Lies. You should. It's it's surprising. I Season two is coming out now. Well, the yeah. thing about this guy is like he's one of these guys like, uh, I mean, like I always thought like Rod Serling must have been like just sitting there possessed in front of a typewriter like sure. and never slept. And David E. Kelly gives me that kind of impression that the guy just like shits words out of his fingers onto it like all the yeah. time, like massive diarrhea. Of the typewriter. The thing Girls is, Colin, he club. doesn't use a typewriter because, believe it or not, David E. Kelly is such a genius. He longhand writes all of his. Well, scripts. that's how you know they're a genius when they long. It's very true. Everyone longhand. He does that, and then his poor assistants have to have to transfer all his fucking chicken scratch. <laughs> <laughs> but you're wealthy enough; you can hire people. To I mean, do I longhand that. everything yeah. I do. <laughs> well, I mean, <laughs> <laughs> and look at me, Colin, yeah. and there it is. Yeah. Look where I'm at. <laughs> Um, You're not Mr. Michelle Pfeiffer, though, are you? Right. I wrote like David E. Kelly. Is. Everything everyone's saying right now. I just want <laughs> everyone to know true. that. Uh, true. This is true all story. Uh, uh, written beforehand. Mm-hmm. All right. I just want to know, Secrets does revealed. anybody know the answer to this? Because, I mean, what, okay, so when you have a body of work that includes all these lawyer, doctor, and mm-hmm. procedural shows, mm-hmm. and then yep. you have a feature film, and it's <laughs> about a giant crocodile like terrorizing crocodiles. a small town, yeah. where does this come from? I was just sitting there watching the movie going like, like what in, in this guy's life made him go, you know, I got this movie about just, a giant crocodile. He likes crocodiles, man. Does he? I would assume so. I'm looking. Why else? I had no idea. Right? I did Eight research and I couldn't come up yeah, with anything. Yeah, no, I looked yeah. into it. I couldn't find anything. Because yeah. this is bizarre. Yeah. Yeah. Right? I mean, he also had another feature film called Mystery Alaska. Yes. Which was about like the hockey. hockey one. The hockey yeah. team. Yeah. Russell Crowe and I think Burt Reynolds is in there. Yeah. I think Burt Reynolds and, that sounds yeah. right. It's like a small town hockey yes. team. Yes. Nobody saw it. I think I may have I think forgot about it. My pumps, mm, um, my, I never saw it. No, I know I've seen the poster. Yeah. I know I can yeah. see a picture yeah, yeah. of the poster in my mind. It's like a movie that my dad probably watched. <laughs> yeah. 
Well, Steve Miner came to this movie because he had had a gigantic hit the year before, and that was called Halloween H2O. The guy, like, I don't remember, like, you know, from Soul Man in 1985 to Halloween H2O in 1998, 96. Yep. 98. What? That's right. It was Come on, years. man. Come on. Uh, Last year we're going was the by 40th years here. Colin. 20 years, 40 years. Was this 2000? 99. 99. 99. Okay, so this is in the next year. So yeah. he brought a lot of the same crew and all that into this movie. Uh, Adam Arkin, I think, like the star of H2O, oh, yeah. shows up as a brief part. And it's the same, like, you know, probably, uh, well, I know the, the guy who did the score is the same. and You know, whatever. Technical crew. This is kind of funny how Hollywood oh, John works this way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. they're like, you made an awesome movie. Even though we haven't heard of you in like 100 years, we'll just give you this movie to do. And we're going to do a giant crocodile movie. Sure, why not? Yep. Holly likes her giant creature monster movies. I do like creature features. It's true. This one, uh, I'm gonna, this one actually kind of reminded me of uh, a mistake I made last summer called The Meg. <laughs> <laughs> This, lot, that was a mistake. That was a mistake. <laughs> this feels like a made-for-TV movie, even though it it's not. Does. It does. Yeah. Like Wait, it feels so, like a sci-fi okay, let's movie. Let's drill into that. Okay. Well, okay. So that may be is your impression colored because this movie had like ten sequels that were probably made for the Sci-Fi Channel. Yeah, they were. <laughs> I feel like every one of those sequels might have been more interesting. Than this. They were probably wild, especially. Uh, Lake Placid versus Anaconda. Yeah. yeah. Where you bring the two titans of big screen monsterdom. What year was Anaconda? Because we watched that on the show. You got to go back and check out. 97? 96, maybe? Oh, so this is right in that. So actually, then, we're saying that Anaconda gave birth to Lake Placid, right? He saw Anaconda and he's like, Anaconda's 97. I would say yeah. so. When did they do a giant crocodile movie last? And yes, there's the Toby Hooper movie Crocodile, but nobody saw that. I don't want to direct the video. So it was Alligator. Uh, was, he's he's a big fan of Alligator. Is he? Well, yeah. They. I mean, that there's that scene when they're all uh, are sitting around the camp talking about the crocodile. Like, how did the crocodile get here? And Hector is like, well, I'm sure someone in Hong Kong flushed it down the toilet. That was obviously but that's an urban legend too. I think that also well, inspired I know, but it was, Alligator. It was a direct reference to Alligator. Oh, oh. yeah. There, I, I don't, there's one other subtle reference. I, I wasn't here for Alligator, so I didn't understand it. Oh, damn. Which is kind of why I brought this. Oh, I man. missed Alligator. Alligator was dope. Check out Alligator. that episode, guys. Alligator is the best. I know. I'm sad I missed And you it. can't find it anywhere, which is a yeah. crime against humanity that you, listener out there, have no easy access. How did we watch it? Did you, own a, did you own a Blu-ray? Uh, No. How did we? Well, there's oh, ways that you can obtain. Oh, no. oh, right. We had a way of gotcha. finding yeah. Yeah. Gotcha, gotcha. <laughs> If never you mind. have access to those ways, I was, you should I, never mind. All I remember is how Korean awesome the movie like, was. I didn't remember how we watched it. I just remember well, the okay, movie was so, awesome. But why? Okay, so if you're, you're talking, I mean, the concept of having a giant man-eating reptile, you know, is uh, like, it's an awesome concept. Yeah. It is. But, it's more awesome depending on the placement of the crocodile. Okay. It's environment. So you're saying New York City sewers <laughs> is key. <laughs> is key to your enjoyment of a giant alligator movie, I think. Well, what's this one Big going factor. after? I it mean, isn't. That's, that's the problem. That's, it's not going after anyone. No, if I mean, you would like just the, leave it alone, it'd be fine. Well, not so much the uh the the actual creature itself, but the film by placing it in this it's like these it, like the environmental uh disaster movies, well, the environmental monster movies of the 70s, mm-hmm. right? Where they would take place in like the Pacific Northwest, the foods of the gods and the mm-hmm. grizzlies and the day the animals attacked and all Humanoids that shit. from the deep. Right. <laughs> that, that's yeah. more where this movie's coming from, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. So let me get this straight on this movie. This movie is about a curmudgeon small town sheriff and the wealthy uh, like crocodile hunter that comes the, together. They join together to find and capture a giant crocodile that lives in Lake Placid. This is where my heart lives Yeah, in this relationship in the movie. That's that's what I'm here well, for. Well, am I yeah. wrong, though? I you're, mean, not, like, you're not. That's the it's, best I can come If nothing up else, with. it's the yeah. most interesting aspect <laughs> yeah. of that. Now, this yeah. is not what's going to be on the video box. No. No. Mm-hmm. A love story between Oliver Platt and Brendan Gleeson. <laughs> Which saying it out loud, wow! Like well, it. it's it's strange because I hadn't seen this movie since like originally seen yeah. it, mm-hmm. and there's certain scenes you remember, but I was like, mm-hmm. is Bill Pullman in that movie, and then yep. it started to come out like Bridget, is Bridget Fonda. Fonda in that movie. Yeah, I didn't remember Brendan Gleeson at all, and I didn't remember Oliver Platt. What? 
but I mean, watching it this time, I'm like, oh my god, they're the main characters. They're of the this reason movie. you you would you would go back and watch this. Yeah, like, I like their interplay. To be fair, Brendan Gleeson is not trying at all, at all. Like I mean, he's, he's a great tra- actor, he's, and he's, he's done a lot to cover of work. His accent. He very much is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but. That's he's saying he's he's ending sentences in places that it feels like there should be more words. I feel I like he barely fault, read the no, script. No, I don't think so either. I, I think, don't think it's, that's his it's fault. writing and editing. We're just like we're yeah. ah, we're done here. I'm Let's ninety percent sure there was a part in this movie where he read the stage direction when he wasn't supposed to. <laughs> I'm ninety percent sure that because he says everyone's a comedian, sarcastic. <laughs> I'm pretty sure he was supposed to say that sarcastically, and he said everyone's a comedian sarcastic. You might he said be it all right. together yeah. like it was you, one sentence. You might actually be you right. Might be uh, right. When you been to that Twinkie, the, yeah, yeah. he's going off about like you're one sentence sarcastic. This guy's a whole sentence sarcastic. You're a com- everybody's a comedian sarcastic or something like that. It was just, sh- but that doesn't make any because sense because people talk like that in real life. <laughs> mm. Or, Do they? Okay, so this shows. is the thing that we're talking about, the writing of David E. Kelly. Yeah. Right? Uh, who in this movie sounded the most like a human being? To you? Betty White. But that's, what? okay, Betty White's character, though, this is a David E. Kelly thing. I'm sure you guys have noticed this. They're like, there's always some elderly person that just swears a bunch in a David E. Kelly thing. It was William Shatner in Boston Legal. You know, there's always some really vulgar older person. Yeah, because that's David funny. That's thing. comedy gold. That's what he thinks hey, is man, hilarious. It'll win you Emmys. You know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it will. It'll win you Emmys. It worked, it worked for how many seasons on Boston Legal? Mm, yeah, it did. I'm Denny Crane. Old people give <laughs> yeah. zero fucks. That's yeah, what's exactly. uh, hilarious. So now you get hey, to hear that led to what is- shit my dad says. So you just be quiet. <laughs> it's the darkest timeline. <laughs> Betty White. Cinematic treasure get some awesome one liners in this, like you're all a bunch of cocksuckers. Mm. And uh, if say, I had a dick, this is where I'd tell you to suck it. Did yeah. she say like fuck face or fuck shit or something? Yeah, yeah. no, that yeah. was that was uh, Bridget Fonda. Bridget Fonda, these are moments who that looks I've like a young Cloris Leachman, <laughs> ironically. <laughs> enough. We were just talking, you know, about I was saying like when I was watching this movie. I am like totally you're pretty quiet. In, I don't know. Well, I was saying to saying? myself, I'm totally in love with Bridget Fonda. Seriously? What happened to her? Oh Seriously, yeah! I think, I find I think it was so in that boring. scene where she was uh, like in the tent with Bill Pullman, and mm. I was like, I'm "Like, man, I am totally in love with this woman." Where did she go? She's, she's so straight boring. up quit acting. <laughs> After this, uh, I don't. I think there might have been like a couple more. Well, when was uh, uh, Jackie? Yeah, she Brown. was uh, no, wait, no. That's that before this. That's before that's this. Before yeah. The, oh yeah, that's that was like ninety four, right? The, that's the Bridget Fonda I like. Yeah, but, yeah I'm again. pretty sure she. Just like Didn't she get retired. like uh, railroaded by Weinstein? Wasn't that a thing? Oh, I can't remember. I no, was she I part of the? Uh, I the think revolu- so. I think she came out. Of- I think she came out recently. Uh, unless it, nah, maybe somebody else. I don't know. Mm, I guess like, well, I just don't have like strong memories of Bridget Fonda being no, like a big thing. Either. I'm pretty sure she was one of those. She like, had a kid and then just like never came back after having a kid. That might be it. I mean, but if for a while there, I mean, like I always thought like she was like a very good actress and the stuff that she did it was a single white female. That was like a oh, big deal. Oh yeah, right? mm-hmm. that's that. Yeah, I forgot about that. Yeah, but then she just like vanished off the face of the earth. No idea where she went. Yeah. yeah, she was never. Yeah, now. like I said, she was never like a big deal to me. I, I didn't ever think she was a big. Well, this would have been like thing. mid mid nineties, early True. to mid nineties. I was too busy watching shit like now and then. So yeah, oh, that's right. Yeah. yeah, I was a child. So that's true. <laughs> yeah, just a child, we can't man. hold that against you. Yeah. Sorry, yeah. Bridget Fonda didn't try. do things like Casper because that got my attention. Mm-hmm. Which no. also Jesus. starred Bill right. Pullman. That's right, the star of this movie. That's yeah. right, the negligible star. Okay, Bill Pullman, right? Yeah. Is he a charismatic Monkey bone. guy? He is. Um. What? That was her last movie. Uh, is that the one Brendan of her Fraser? last? One, yeah, it is one of her last movies. She stopped doing anything in two thousand two. Mm. Wow! Holy yeah, she shit! Had to, yeah. She just like quit. Like, yeah, that's amazing that an actor would just go like, oh, you know what? I want to go do something else. Yeah, what do like, you go do if yeah, you quit but being like, an actor? Maybe they live a life, like, man. I don't know. It might not have been just like her choice to leave. You know what I'm saying yeah. if like if you're not getting the jobs, you know. Yeah, if Hollywood gives up on you, yeah, what else are you gonna do? Yeah, mm. mm-hmm. well, yeah, yeah. Um, Bill Pullman, he's a yeah. he's a oh, yeah. neutral presence in this movie. He doesn't really do anything one way or another. He is uh, also got Asleep. transplanted from Casper as a ghost mm-hmm. into this movie. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, he's a whole lot and of he nothing. Just floats around doing yes. nothing. Okay, so but what do we say? So he's like this game, uh, like game and wildlife. And, yeah, warden. 
I was going to say it's like the NDNR, the DNR, the Department of Natural Resources, Resources or whatever, no. right? I think he's yeah. lower level Game than that. Game warden. Game warden. Warden. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And so somehow he outranks the sheriff, which is Brennan Gleason. How does that work? I don't know. When you're because going after a giant when crocodile. you're dealing with is animals, yeah. Is he, is he federal? Is that the thing? Is well, I think federal? the federal are the people that they keep calling that show up later in the movie, the oh. U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service or whatever. I think it's just the subject about. matter of the issue they're dealing with, I think, is yeah. why he outranks him. If there was a murder. Okay. Yeah. There not was. Murder, not by animal. <laughs> there was, <Yeah>. Sean. <laughs> a murder in yeah. Savannah. Um, no, there's... Uh, there's uh, been a murder. <laughs> the, because it's an animal doing the murdering, that's why Bill Pullman... Uh, takes jurisdiction over mm. this whole thing. That just seems weird, no matter how. But I guess, right, fish and wildlife are supposed to come mm-hmm. in and, you know, mm-hmm. whatever, get the animal. and Yeah, that yeah. bear in the middle of the lake that, that bear keeps in that attacking lake. people. <laughs> Man, what they I'm so saying. glad everyone in this movie is dumb. <laughs> I think yeah, it's probably a bear. It's in the middle of a lake. It's underwater. It's underwater. <sighs> yeah, but only Brendan Gleeson says that. Everybody else is just dealing with the after fact that we've got a guy torn in half. So like, ah, oh, probably a bear. Like, no, no, no. The guy there is saying he was out fishing and something grabbed this guy and pulled him underwater and then left a half of him there. Mm-hmm. That's how it's going. But they found a tooth, mm. right? Mm-hmm. A portion of a tooth. And that's why we awesome. have to go to New York City and grab uh, Bridget Fonda, who's a paleontologist at a museum. Yes. And bring her to the wilds of Maine where she complains about everything. Yeah. Okay, and Everything. the flight from New York to Maine has to be probably less than an hour, I imagine. I would think. Probably. That she acts like she has to go halfway around the world to, to do this. Yeah. She has to leave her apartment. Yep. <laughs> yeah, She's she very upset do that. that she has to, you know, I'm not a field person, you know. Even though that whole... it seems like it's a big part of your job description as a paleontologist to, you know, be in the field. Yeah. She I doesn't think so. yeah. win people over. Like, and this is the thing. She's though. a horribly written character that is meant like, to she... be... I was completely like, but unlikable for if, the entirety yeah, of the Yeah, I was movie. like, if you mean she doesn't win people over, she didn't win me over, I agree. She didn't win me over at all, let alone the characters. Well, at the beginning no. of the movie, she's extremely abrasive by basically like insulting everybody as these oaky hicks, you know, yeah. basically up in the wilds of Maine. Oh, and I'm, I'm the sorry. wilds yeah, of Maine. I was like, I'm <laughs> sorry. Are, are people from Maine known to be like rednecks? Because that's how she's making them sound. And They're I've, not in the city. She it? called Bill Pullman a museum bigot. Yeah. <laughs> Have you ever been to a museum? Well, she did, and, but she, he also, his look was like, no, I haven't. <laughs> so she got him on that one, and that was to Brennan Gleason. Don't, don't apply like a social construct like bigot to museums. Come on, lady. Yeah. Dial it back. It's not yeah, that a, serious. Yeah, it's a little much. Yeah, a little well, bit. That's to no. show how blinded she is by the fact that she you know, lives on the right, upper it's west city side. people versus the country folk yep, at this yep. point, yes. It's, Written by a city Maine. guy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Imagining Maine. what life must be like outside of New York City. She's so out of touch. She brings a can of Raid with her. Yeah. Yeah. And sprays it, you know, it, sprays it in the air. Yeah. 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 This is what this is this is what I'm kind of getting out of this. This is a like slumming from David E. Kelly. Like yeah. in a genre that he's just kind of not really attached to or understands anything about. So he and- is Kelly. <laughs> is what you're saying. Like mm-hmm. that's his the character he identifies with most is what you're saying. Uh, mm-hmm. He gives her his surname. The mm-hmm. character's name is Kelly. Yeah, mm-hmm. played by Bridget Fonda. Fuck. Yeah. <laughs> I was. I was you are very right. I was waiting for that. as you said. I'm like, are you not seeing this connection? I'm not seeing the connection. <laughs> <laughs> Did not see it. There it is. Yeah. There so, it is. But Kelly is able to. So she's in a terrible relationship at uh, you know back home in the city. The city I mean, have you seen the suits Alan Arkin wears? Yeah, that's mm, a terrible yeah. relationship. Well, yeah, he's sleeping with Mar- uh, Mariska Hargitay. Yeah, the Hungarian actress, Yelza, mm-hmm. daughter of Jane Mansfield mm-hmm. and yeah, Mickey, Mickey Hargitay. Yeah, mm-hmm. um, who's in the movie for like a thirty seconds, and it's like you know she's cheating uh, or she's having an affair with uh, with uh, Bridget Fonda's boyfriend and her whole thing comes down to like she's really friendly about telling her like yeah, yeah right. we were cheating really cool about it. i wish i could tell you something but other than the she, heart she's very much. she's very like it was before you had nothing to do with you like she was very very friendly about she's very it chipper mm-hmm. yeah it's yeah. almost uh, bridget fonda's fault for not understanding this and getting with the program mm. Mm. Is that what it is? Oh, yeah. That's how I felt. Well, we don't know because the scene cuts like right there in the first, I think, of many scenes that feel like there was probably more to this and you opted to just bail out of it. 
Yeah, moving on. Yeah. Like, yeah. You gotta, how long yeah. is this movie, Holly? An hour and 22 minutes. It's pretty quick. <laughs> <laughs> it's a quick movie. Maybe that's why. They're like, can't be any extreme yeah, stuff. Go. Yeah. We got to establish our characters. So we got Bill Pullman as the game warden who's going to bag this creature mm-hmm. that's killing people. We don't know what it is yet, but there's something in the water, a la Jaws or uh, Piranha bear. or mm-hmm. something, right? It could be a bear in the water. Could be a bear. Or a giant beaver. beaver. Yep. Yep. I liked that yep. one. Yeah. Yeah. I'm yeah. all for the giant beaver. We at, know you are. Giant the- beaver. <laughs> 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 Ladies. <laughs> Giggity. <laughs> At the time we are recording this, there is about to be a Game of Thrones episode as long as this movie was. Mm. Yes. Yeah. Well, brevity in movies is not a bad thing because I mean, especially if you can overstay its welcome. I think you know. No, but, no, definitely no, not. But maybe there should be like maybe you don't. This doesn't need to be a movie. You know, maybe if like you're really working to hit that minimum amount of time. Maybe this you know? just should have been an episode of Ally McBeal. <laughs> this is like that would have been cool. Put a dancing baby in there. Well, that's what I'm saying. Could... I'd have been all right with that. Ally McBeal goes to the lake. But that's what I was trying to fucking... listen to it. Yeah. Like just the dialogue of Bridget Fonda's character. Like if you put Callista Flockhart in that part, mm-hmm. is she talking like and acting like Ally McBeal? Yeah, same thing. Can I never watched Harrison it. Ford? Yeah, I never I really watched it know. either. So I don't I watched know. It yeah, I know. I don't a know what it few okay. episodes. When it was airing, but never enough to like grasp. Well, I'm prepared on. to take your ass- assessment that this is Allie McBeal goes to the lake, feels like it, and encounters a giant alligator. Feels like it, or put Harrison Ford like a in for episode? Brendan Gleeson, like yeah. you said, and then we're good. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, bottle episode just at mm-hmm. the lake. Mm-hmm. She daydreamed a lot. This could have been she something. Did. This is how he came up with the did idea. Did oh, like, was that like show a about a bunch of daydreams? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Ellie oh, McBeal fuck, I'm never going to watch it now. An no. inner life that was uh, she did. something else. Was it revealed she had a tumor? In her no. life? That's why she saw a dancing baby? She saw the dancing baby. No, she, I, thought, I thought it was wait, she had like oh, a tumor. Or no, it was just a coping mechanism of how yeah. she dealt should, with the stress of being in New York. This show sounds terrible. And it went on eight seasons? It was... It could only be made in the time it was made. Like, I had no interest in it then. And yeah, now, now I'm even really like, wow, fuck this. I was a child that watched TV. Okay. Yeah. Well, you wouldn't watch this. I don't know. Like, <laughs> when you talk about, like, a, a character having extensive scenes of daydreaming in any movie or TV, I just mm-hmm. think back to sidekicks, and I'm like, I've already seen it done mm-hmm. once. Oh, yeah, it's like eight so, seasons of sidekicks. Yeah, no, no fucking thanks. No yeah. thanks. But with no Chuck Norris. Ellie McBeal you know. is eight seasons eight of sidekicks. Eight seasons of sidekicks. That's right. That's not a place endorsement. Chuck Norris, you get a dancing computer-generated uh, baby. Which, I mean, I know sounds close. Yeah. It's Sean, not. you need to make that the pull quote for the DVDs. It's like eight seasons like of sidekicks. eight side seasons kick. of sidekicks. <laughs> <laughs> Loved every minute. Yeah. Yeah. There it is. Well, there's another character. In the, well, there's like two more. But one of them is uh, at some point, the you know, because there's these uh, deaths happening around this lake uh the authorities say we got to go off and find the woman or the old couple who live uh on the edge of the lake apparently mm. in this pristine beautiful wooded environment it did look very nice one it house. really did mm-hmm. one house yeah they're the only people who live on the lake apparently which again like this isn't a problem then if like they're the only people <laughs> that live on this lake right. Who gives? Let and the gator be. Yeah. Like, and especially after they go talk to her and find out that she's okay with it, and they're like, "Okay, what's the problem? Yeah, just, just leave. Don't, just don't go to the lake. Just be like, well, it sucks that that beaver tagger died, but okay, and yeah, move on with your you life. Got, you got but somebody kids. may come up there. Yeah, the skinny dippers that yeah. uh, Brennan Gleason was talking about. No, yeah. we don't ever up. see those people. They don't right. exist. It would be more interesting if that we did. girl in the halter top that came out of the general supply she store. She needs to go skinny dipping and die. She probably. So, did in a scene we so, didn't get yeah. to see. Why, why, why would you cut that? Because the whole movie is about them trying to protect her from the gator. The, cro- who the crocodile. Comes her? The girl who came out of the the. She represents. Oh the, the person, boy! Someone who oh, can just wow. wander into You're really doing work here, the Colin. Lake. Wow. So we have the, to protect her. I'm going to take was, measure to see how far you're reaching right <laughs> now. Brenda Gleason was all about protecting that girl. Well, yeah. Oh, my God. Oh, my all God. All about protecting Colin. her okay, ass. Colin. That was what he had his eyeballs on. Okay. David E. Kelly's an idiot. If he wanted to write a more effective movie, he would have made it uh, a Friday the 13th, but instead of Jason, it's it's a gator. Just put a fucking summer camp on that goddamn lake. Well, that put a beach. Why you put hire... anything that brings people mm-hmm. to the place. Well, there. Put more I haven't seen Lake Placid 2. 
but it's oh, possible. True. According Wait, have to you the, looked we, up we, any we, of the, the synopses for these? No, but mm-hmm. just going off the posters we saw for these movies, the movie we're talking about They're happened all in the movie. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, it's it's all, like the those are the bikini yeah. movies, yeah. yes. <laughs> Probably the two that starred Robert Englund as the yeah. ancient old But that fisherman. makes right. way more sense than this movie, though. Yeah, there's yeah, no yeah, people at this lake. Yeah. They're the bikini movies, but they're not gratuitous because they were made for TV. Yeah. So were they all made for TV? They were all made for TV. Jesus. So you're not going to get what you want. So I'm not watching any of these. Not even in Lake Placid, The Legacy? No, all okay. made for TV. I like how it's Lake Placid versus Anaconda. Like the Anaconda is just like fucking fighting. It's fighting the lake, yeah, yeah. It's like <laughs> sloshing around in a lake. Because that that implies then it. the Anaconda has to come to the lake. Then, like he, right. the Anaconda is coming to the lake, right? Right. Right. Yeah. Otherwise, it's not this. Not that and movie. Now, well, we don't know. There's four Lake Placid movies in between that right. match up, so it could be that somehow. The, the, the gator the are, I'm sorry are you trying airlifted. to are you trying to say there may be some continuity between these movies <laughs> Robert England is in two of them so is Yancey Butler the star uh, of Witchblade yes okay hmm. um so Betty White uh in her first scene with the authorities mm-hmm. because they said that there's a couple that lives on the right line. and when they get there there's just Betty White mm-hmm. and they're like where's your husband oh he died well how did he die Oh, I killed him. Well, it oh, please explain him. that. And she does. She does. And then it's like, how come these cops aren't arresting? Like, she hit him over the head with a frying pan or yeah. something like that. Brendan Gleeson standing in the corner like, oh, crazy Betty White. <laughs> yeah. yeah, but they got bigger problems, man. <laughs> yeah. Bill Pullman and Bridget Fonda are a confused or aghast at what she's saying. But yeah, nobody. Then the scene just ends and we're like, uh... Did she just confess to a capital crime? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Seems like she's the danger here. Yeah. Not a crocodile. Mm-hmm. She could be running around at night. Like, Biting people's know. heads off. I yeah, agree. She's I like agree. the Mrs. Voorhees of this lake. Yes. <laughs> so many interesting ideas <laughs> not explored in this movie. Uh-huh. That had to have... that. Had to have occurred to Steve Miner. I would the guy assume so. Yeah. The they should have put her, like, like, <laughs> put her in the sweater. Put her in the sweater. God damn it. You're it's right like, there. You know You're done. right yeah, there. Yeah, he's like, I'm back at camp again. It's like, I'm going home. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> only in this time, instead of Jason, I've got a giant shark. And he's like, really? What's the difference between the two? They both yeah. like just jump out of somewhere. And she's trying to protect him, shark, just like Mrs. Out. Voorhees is like, that's my Jason. It's, it's the same relationship between the two characters. It really is. Mm, true. Okay. I'm, this I'm is a Friday the Thirteenth movie. Yeah. Secretly, right? She's not as good. <laughs> yeah, well, you remember at the beginning, mm-hmm. of the, at the end of the first one, where she's feeding the baby Jasons in the water. <laughs> <laughs> Same thing. <laughs> I agree. I wish it would have ended. <laughs> that that would have been awesome. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, so many better ideas. <laughs> somebody's got to be feeding little baby Jasons. <laughs> God, I want little baby no, Jasons like, now. Little, yeah, I know. Little like uh, little uh, <laughs> like Brian tadpoles, with, like little tadpoles. With hockey masks. No, 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 not with ho- just like the messed up faces. Face just swimming little, going, little tadpoles, uh, like- just swimming up and getting fed. <laughs> and just <laughs> Betty White's throwing bread. <laughs> right, right into their fucking faces. Just eat that. This Go seems some like people. something like a scene you could have seen in Freddy versus Jason. I mean, I mean maybe. I mean, I mean that might have been. That's that not would, far off. It would fit in there. Yes. God damn it. Uh, guys, we could now. write Fuck a million that. Friday the 13th movies <laughs> without even trying. Wow. Well, there's uh, another character that shows up. Mm. I mean, you know, I mean, the, the probably the biggest character in the movie. Yeah. As far as like ego. Are you talking about like size or? Uh... And size. Okay. I mean, this is the uh, esteemable. What, what did we say? Steam. Legendary. Uh, Oliver, well Plank. known, mm-hmm. well known. <laughs> mm, Let's go there. Recognizable faced guy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Oliver Platt, yeah. great thespian of like Law and Order. I mean, I like something, him. Something I don't know. He's on he one of some, those. He did some West Wing stuff. for a while. Yeah, he's a good time. Yeah, Oliver Platt's a good time. always fun. Yeah. I like Oliver Platt. Like he him. shows up. I'm enjoying the movie. Well, clearly he's enjoying himself in this in mm-hmm. this movie mm-hmm. because he is given the part where it's like. He's the billionaire crocodile hunter, mm-hmm. right? He's or, the Rain Wilson character in the Meg, right? I was going to say, he's the Rain Wilson. That is the exact yes. same character. Yeah, it is. I was not kidding when I said this is just it's like the Meg. <laughs> Holly, With half as many there characters. Are lessons here for you to learn. <laughs> Please learn. Well, maybe learn. we're just zeroing in. She's realizing the things that she likes. Like, oh, I do are, like Is this. she? Because I'm pretty sure we're going to get to the end of this, and that's not going to be the case. But, but we'll, we'll get there. Okay. I didn't like the Meg. 
if you recall. Right. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Yeah, but why are you drawn to these movies? Because it has all these certain elements. I don't know. I mean, who knows? Curiosity, Colin, why am I drawn yeah. to sequels? We don't know these things. We'll never find out. That's, this is it's just going to go on true. and on. Um, so, uh, Platt's character, Hector. his name, Hector. Hector. Yes. Right? Hector. Who basically exists to needle verbally mm -hmm. uh, the sheriff, right? Yes. Right. Brendan Gleese. And because the sheriff is like this guy who's just kind of like, uh, what do you call him? He's not like salt of the earth because he's just a curmudgeon. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I don't even know if he's that. He's just kind of like your average guy. No, Bill Pullman's supposed to be your average guy. He's the guy. average guy. Well, I mean, Brendan Gleeson's Gleeson's just the, yeah, he's the just angry grumpy. at the world. Just grumpy. Kind of, yeah, grumpy. Yeah, yeah. but like, uh, he's not. Well, he is kind of like unlike. He's just not playing it in any way. <laughs> yeah. I'm sure he's supposed to be a grumpy curmudgeon, but he's not playing it. Yeah, that I'm way. like I don't he's find just him like, to be all that grumpy. He's sarcastic, but I don't find him to be all that grumpy. But... I find him to be low energy and yeah. uh, not present. He just he's he just wants a quiet life. Who would you? He wants to eat his Twinkies on he a boat. Yelled more. If I feel you, like he if transferred just to this as he written, didn't think anything was going to happen. Well, as written, would you could you have cast someone else? Like who else would you have cast? Number? Harrison Ford. Well, you're only saying that because he, <laughs> he yells at... Uh, As the sheriff? Yeah. Yeah, why not? John he did Goodman. Cowboys and Aliens. John, so John I mean, Goodman okay. would have been dope. John Goodman. Yeah. Mm. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Fuck, I'd take a John Favreau even. He was no. Yeah, he was too young at this point, I think. They needed someone older. I only say no to John Goodman because he's better than this one. Well, that's not the question, <laughs> though. That's not the question. No. Yeah. Yeah. That's True. not the question. It's just, yeah, because, I mean, like, I have no memory of him being in the movie from having seen it, right? But, I mean, right. I guess that's the thing. Like, He's most the only of the, one. The people, him and Oliver Platt are the only ones I have the memory of. Well, <laughs> this time around, I'm like, I well, yeah, because them. they are the only, like, personalities in the movie. Bill Pullman has no personality whatsoever because he is just supposed to be the good guy. Yeah, he, there's no energy there's, to no, any there's performance. One, there's one line he's gotten this where he's, like, yelling a little bit. Did he? And that's it. just a little bit. It's like it's, he's like it's still alive. This is at the very end of the movie. I see. I oh, feel like he, yeah. I feel like okay. felt like we're getting into like they're like it's half dead. He's like it's half alive. It's half alive. Yeah. That's the yeah. yeah that's right. the line. That's where he's like that's the most energy he gets up in this movie. Mm -hmm. It's definitely no Independence Day. It's not. That's <laughs> we, where he's that, like he's that the gauge peak. went like boop that for a peak. second to get to that like. <laughs> Arrow reached there for a second, and that was it for this he's, entire movie. He's completely nonplussed by everything that happens in this movie. That's he just is. Bill Pullman. I don't know why just, you cast him in this yeah. type of character or as president of the United States. I yeah. mean, it worked. Even though it that, worked. That speech, Colin, that speech is great. But that speech is great. Okay. And the reason, and he's it's supposed to be he's that way, and then he makes the impassioned. Don't shit talk Independence Day no, right now. No, okay? shit talking Independence Day. I'm saying, don't do it, Bill Pullman. I'm shit talking. We will not go quiet into the night, Colin. <laughs> <laughs> we will not perish without a fight. That's right. God We're going to live on. We're going to survive. <laughs> because today is our Independence Day. Yeah. Today we celebrate our Independence Day. Okay, yeah, there fine. it is. Um, <laughs> so anyway, so what they basically do. So the, 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 the. Bill Pullman's there to be a love interest. That's what it is. And but that doesn't like do anything until the very end of the movie. No, but there's I, and they another... rely on that like fucking. The, the, I'm saying tension in air quotes because it's not really there. When, when was he doing that last? Was he in uh, while you were sleeping? Was he? He's, yeah, he's he a was, love interest in that. Yeah, he's well, kind Wait, who, of. He's, he's the he's, brother of Peter Gallagher, right? Yes. Okay. Who's the girl who's sleeping in there? No, Peter Gallagher. Peter sleeping. Gallagher's sleeping. Sandra Bullock. Sandra Bullock. Oh, okay. Yeah. Sandra, Sandra Bullock's okay. in love with him. He's in a coma, and then she yeah, actually sorry, falls in love with the brother. Sorry, romantic comedy. Yeah, I got yeah blind, you, spot blind spot. There. Um, yeah, no. <laughs> but this one, creature features. There you go. She's yeah. seen it. That's um, where we're at. That's right. where we're at. Yeah. So the the creature goes around and it's like chomping on people, and it's basically you're I getting mean, a bunch it? of underwater mm -hmm. shots that you usually get in the underwater monster movies. A point of view. Ever since Jaws dun, made dun, it, dun, you know, a thing. Yeah. You know, yeah. swimming up underneath people and it, chomping them. Mm -hmm. It takes a long time to get a view of this sucker. Well, when did it first? Oh, it eats we the get, bear. Get, well, it saves uh, the bear. Yeah, the teeth from the bear. We get teeth when it eats the first guy who's tagging the beavers. We, yeah, we get uh, tagging beaver. <laughs> That's all I gotta say. Tagging beaver. Uh, we get a little bit a better shot of him when he bites the head off a deputy. 
And then the bear is the next thing where we just like, oh, the bear is when we really out. see yeah, it. Yeah, really it comes up on the surface, kind of like the bear is Samuel L. Jackson from yes, Lucy that in is this a moment. Correct. Yeah, where the uh, thing just comes up and goes. Oh, yeah. yeah, giant shark movies at this time too. This was the era of like yeah. the CG because they could do stuff in CG. Yes. yes, and that's why they're like now we can actually show these monsters, and that's why Godzilla came back mm-hmm. in like 1988 and then, or 1998. Nine, it was 1998. Yeah, I was gonna 1998. Say. Yeah, just showed that one to the kid. Yeah, okay. yeah, the late 70s and the late 90s. There's like the a big spike in like creature feature movies. Yeah, because yeah. the Both technology times. changed, yep. and they mm-hmm. can actually. And I'm do bringing it. them all to the free show. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, you brought Deep Lucy, didn't you? And Anaconda. Yeah, yeah. 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 See, <laughs> see, I'm not the only one who's got like. A kink. That's what I'm going to call it. Yeah, it is. It's a kink. It's a, it's it's a, a fucking, fetish. Yeah, it is. Fetish a fetish for the giant creature. I can't resist. Yeah. yeah. I can't. Well, what would you think of the creature in this film once you actually got to see it, uh, you know, out there? You know, it's you practical. Know, you know really what? Good. I Yeah, I was like, I didn't hate it because it is a... Um, a it's Winston. That Stan Winston. That Stan Winston yeah. did it. I like the practice. I actually don't hate it. I think it's kind of awesome, mm-hmm. if I'm being honest. Well, it it no, emotes? Which, it does. Which is weird. Which it one? It does. The, the, when it's trapped in the helicopter, it is emoting. Oh, and that's the the physical one. Yeah. 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 And, and when he's giving the puppy the, dog right, eyes. When he's and when, he, when, you get, when you get like hippo eyes in, yeah. the, in the water. Yeah. yeah. Well, these are the guys who you designed the dinosaurs from Jurassic Park. Yeah. like make, I mean, that's who you go to, I guess. Yeah. You're going to make a giant scaly reptile. You go to you go Stan to Winston, Winston Studios. Yeah. I thought they produce. I saw. I thought I read on Wikipedia, mm-hmm. you know, the font of all knowledge, sure. that uh, Stan Winston Studios co-produced this movie. Yes, that's true. But there was at the beginning. I was looking. I didn't see any it, credits. No. So what happened there? You know. Um, I have no idea. David oh. Kelly lawyered lawyered his way out of it. I guess it could be. Hmm. <laughs> got a lawyer writing for a movie. So it's like basically you got pumpkin head and then so and then. Uh, yeah. a, Lake Placid. Yeah. That's not true. But um, <laughs> wow. it's like, well, I get to design. My- OK, there's a, there's a valley in there. Well, yeah. OK, so there is like a big animatronic uh, yeah. crocodile that they yeah. roll out because this thing is God 30 awesome. feet long. Right. Yeah. It's a giant, you know, beast. yeah. Um, bigger than Jaws. That's right. Bigger than the alligator, because I think that was 25 foot. I think so. Um, and so when it is seen in the long shots, of course, it is a CG creature. Uh, and when. You ever seen that movie uh, Extinction? Mm-hmm. <clears throat> That's what it's no mm. Annihilation. Natalie Portman. Yes. Yeah, there's a giant. Sorry, crocodile I knew what you were that, talking about. Oh yeah, yeah. Because that has like a great <laughs> fucking crocodile. Scene. It does. Yeah. But because the technology, that's probably like what ten. Uh, it's like twenty years on from Lake Placid. Uh, they got yeah. This is nailed. The, this is the twenty year anniversary here. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. See, we're, yeah, uh-huh. we're getting. Yeah, we're doing the twenty year anniversaries of things. Yeah. <laughs> Nineteen ninety nine is the year this year. Yeah. I have a feeling. It's oh, be all yeah. Because you know the end world is about days. to come up on Y two K. Yeah. Days, yeah. Up my on friend. <laughs> end did, of days. We didn't know if we'd live to see. The Wait, next are you millennium. saying you want to bring end of days? No. 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 <laughs> but he said it, so now I must bring it. God damn it! Wait for the summer, ladies and gentlemen. No. It's gonna be like nineteen ninety nine. December. That came out in December. Don't care. Sean, okay. you need to do a Y two K build up. Do it at the end of the we year. Do that next year. Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, this anyway, year. No, it's, it's the end of this year into next year. We can do year. like end of end of days yeah. movies. Yeah, I got yeah. time. So we do the end day, of days. It is. Do like the day after tomorrow. No, I yeah. don't want to do that. Oh man, no. you guys are killing me. No, I can't me. do. No. I can't yeah. do the day after at least end of days had like you know Schwarzenegger and the yeah. fucking devil. Yeah. yeah. And Gabriel Byrne was he, yeah. the, is he the fucking devil? He's the devil. I'm not gonna lie. I've thought about bringing that before. Oh, I mean, no. it's a, it's a. It's oh a no, thing. we had two people thinking about it. Now. <laughs> All right, Great. It's, it's coming. Well, before this episode is over, <laughs> and, and so deep, Lucy, they do end up discovering that the uh, crocodile is in the lake because of reasons. Oh, are you looking for me? Oh, I, I, I have nothing. We don't know. Because Oliver, Oliver Platt doesn't even know. Well, Betty White has been feeding the crocodile. We don't know how it got there. We don't know how it got got there. Well, okay. Didn't she say it followed her husband home one day? Yeah. From where? From fishing. Yeah, from fishing. And but then, how big then was it? started feeding it. Is it is an how Asian big was it? crocodile yeah. that swam across the ocean and somehow swam yeah. from the ocean one mile from inland. From saltwater to freshwater? Which apparently they can't do, which is mentioned, but we just would like dismiss it. That's because, right. Because our, our crocodile expert said, yeah. because Sean, we can't tell you everything in the first movie. I mean, otherwise we're not going to have oh, anything Jesus. to, you know, lead God forbid this movie hits 90 minutes. Actually, cro- I think crocodiles can do saltwater and freshwater. It's alligators that can't do both. We'll never know. Mm-hmm. But there you go. It's, right. it's impossible to find out. Yeah. So, we'll 
so we'll, we'll never know. We definitely uh, can't use a device no, in our just, pocket just, to find yeah. out the answer. Science, man. It's it's a weird thing. The, you just, the, you'll just you find that know. kind of thing in books, Sean. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, see what Holly did there. See what I did. Call back to the movie. That's what I did. Which was probably one of the best lines that Oliver <laughs> Platt had to say. Um, is this movie a comedy? It's supposed to be. Is it? It, wants it to feels be. like yeah. a sitcom at certain it's times. It it's supposed does. to be. Yeah. When when uh Brennan Gleason gets caught in the like uh the trap, <laughs> the trap. that felt like a straight oh, up yeah, yeah, sitcom yeah. moment. Yeah. Oh yeah. my god. Like that that is a running that is the B story in an episode of a sitcom. Mm -hmm. He just keeps that's getting actually, caught. In that's shit. that's exactly it. That's, he's yeah. writing A and B stories. Yes, mm -hmm. exactly. Yeah. Because he's a sitcom. You just nailed it. That's yeah. what's mm -hmm. going on here. So Bill Pullman and Bridget Fonda are the A story. And uh, Brendan Gleeson and, and Oliver play with the B story, <laughs> but their characters are so much more interesting yes. than yes. the other ones, and they have about equal screen time. Yeah. Where it's like I can't tell who the protagonist of this movie is. Yeah. I'm just yeah. saying it's the other two guys because they have more flamboyant personalities. Right. Yeah, no, Stand it's it's, it's really hard to know who you're rooting for in this because no one is very likable. Yeah, at all. Yeah. Because yeah. all they do is insult each other for the most part. Yeah, can mm -hmm. we talk about the fact that Hector keeps calling him fat when they're the exact same size? I didn't get that. I would even say Oliver Plant might be a little bit bigger right? than Brendan Gleeson. Yeah. All right, yeah. Yeah. I would agree, yeah. but Oliver Plant is yeah, of the, the obviously delusional sort. He's yeah. a he's yeah. a mental. He's, oh yeah, he's a mental. Uh, yeah. Right, or all mental. Yes. Right, all yeah, mental. mental. Because we don't even talk as about Brendan Gleeson. Yeah. Calls Some him. of the uh, 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 <laughs> colloquialisms of uh, uh, the nineties. Uh, well, of just you're, uh, like <laughs> no, people no, of European no, descent. Is. Like Brendan Gleeson's from fucking what? Scotland, Ireland. I, uh, Ireland. I think, I think he's his Irish. last name is like Keo. He's Scottish yeah. as hell. Well, yeah, but he's like his it, character. it's like this uh, phrase came over. Like he brought it over and he's like, oh my god, are you serious? No, no, it's David Kelly handwriting his fucking scripts and someone reading his goddamn oh, no. chicken I don't, scratch. I don't blame the problem. Gleason for this. Not at all. But it's just, it's not, it doesn't fit. That's what happens when you handwrite your scripts. Shit gets missed. Yeah. Well, we find Sentences out Sentences don't uh, finish. They end up, uh, just, I mean, I can't even remember now what the determination, they find out, I mean, the whole revelation yeah, was like, oh my God, uh, Betty White's been feeding this thing. Oliver Platt's like, all they're going to do is kill it. And then. Because he worships crocodiles. This is a literal truth, ladies yes. and gentlemen. Yes. He Worships does. crocodiles. He believes that they are deities. Yes. He swims out at one point. Well, he has a helicopter. He goes out in a helicopter and then jumps into the water yeah. so he can attract the, the, uh, the, the crocodile. Because he wants to be judged by it. Because in ancient something times. I don't I'm know. Sorry, I wasn't Listener, attention. if you know of a religion that worships crocodiles or alligators, please tell us about it because we yeah, did some thinking and couldn't come According up with According to Oliver Platt. Whose role in this movie I am prepared to accept as a crocodile expert. Crocodiles were worshipped more than Jesus in ancient religions. Yeah. More than yep. Jesus, more than cats. When we were than, we yeah, we did some quick off the top thinking yeah, about uh, said, what other animals are worshipped more. Cats. I uh, I said De snakes. Definitely yep. cats. Yep, cows, yeah. eagles, yeah, cats. birds, yeah. Birds There's in general. A lot general. of birds. Yeah, well, Jesus birds. has got like he's got a long mile on everybody yeah. else, probably, yeah. for the amount of human beings throughout history. Mm -hmm. But yeah, crocodiles, who knew? Like, you know, they fed people the crocodiles yeah. because the crocodiles would judge them. So this is the weirdest fucking character motivation. Yeah. Because David E. Kelly has never met a human being. Right. It's true. And like, so he comes up with these daft fucking like out of left field right. like character motivations. Yeah. Like at least in the Meg, it was just because Rain Wilson's rich and has like money to burn and is a nerd. Like that was his whole motivation, right? Yeah, it was and like, I, actually, I have I money. bought that. Like, yeah. I actually like bought that, billion, yeah. like especially new money, like young people with money right oh, now yeah. do that, stupid uh, you shit. May, but so. you still may have described this the exact motivation for Oliver Platt's character as well. What it's not mean? established that he's like a billionaire. But he said his parents were rich. Like I think that was meant. Yeah, I but he goes off rich. on that whole religious tangent. He got though. sent off, and uh, well, I think that's part of it though. Like I think he's parents are rich. He did get sent off to a school uh, of some sort that he said because uh, he was talking to Brendan Gleeson at some point. He got sent off to a school where he had time and like he invested yeah. in looking up crocodiles and then uh, went over to the religious part of it. I don't that's know. I, I'd say their motivations are pretty much the same. Because it's yeah, the dragon. It could be. It's the prehistoric, you yeah. know, it's the dinosaurs. Uh, I saw progeny. more honesty in that dragon's eyes. Yeah. <laughs> but okay, so that's what motivates him. He gets in the, goes and takes a swim with the alligator, or gator. Oh, God damn it, it's a fucking crocodile. And then it almost eats him. He's able to get away. And then the, the, the crux of the movie kicks in, where it's like, 
the level-headed insane people are like, this thing is killing people in the lake. We have to kill it, mm-hmm. which is Brendan Gleeson and Bill uh, Pullman. Pullman yeah. mm. And uh, Bridget Fonda, or no, sorry, and uh, Oliver Platt is saying mm-hmm. like, no, 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 no. We have to, this is a trap magnificent it, yeah. beast. We have to trap it. That's right. Bridget Fonda is trapped in between these two poles because she's a paleontologist, damn it, as she exclaims emphatically at the beginning of the movie, on the phone to mm-hmm. somebody, I'm a paleontologist. I love yeah, maybe the true. worst paleontologist. When people, she's yeah, horrible, probably. Ever, who has a problem going out in the field? Mm-hmm. She's a paleontologist. Yep. Yeah, mm-hmm. she should I mean, be living in the field, mm-hmm. right? It, yeah, you yeah, only absolutely. learn things. If, if, you can't just <laughs> learn everything from books. You got to go in the fucking field. Yeah, and if she's a paleontologist, wouldn't she want it to die so she could have the bones? <laughs> That's what I was thinking. I'm right? like, you kill true. it, then like, you get the bones. Well, she can, and you can it. study it. If you yeah. discover it, you can like name it after yourself and everything. So don't yeah. you want to be the first one to it? Yeah. yeah. You know? I feel like this is like killing it would be like a crucial part of her career. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. No, he wrote a lawyer and made her a paleontologist for some reason. Mm-hmm. I don't know why. I don't know what he wrote. Because on. he's like, <laughs> I want to make, I want to see a monster movie because now we can. I haven't seen one of these. Yeah. There needs to be conflict so yeah. they, between they, this woman. And, and Bill Pullman. I feel like mm-hmm. this movie was like some form of cleansing his palate. For I don't know, whatever. <laughs> He's like, I can't write any more sitcoms, yeah. even though half this movie is a sitcom. Well, yeah. Well, life. I just want to know if it's a, like, and I really do want to know. Like, is yeah. this something that he was like? You know, he went on vacation somewhere. I know. I really thought about. I know. I, I really. Said, That's it. I, I'm going to say it's a passing. Yeah, it was at this like wonderful like, lake. Two so, week, so two week t- infatuation with him. So you're telling me he took Michelle Pfeiffer down to the Everglades and wrote this movie? Is what you're That's saying? What I'm gonna <laughs> yeah, like, probably. He went up to Maine. He went right. up to a nice <laughs> idyllic lake in Maine and was like, "Wow, what? You know, it'd be fucked up if like a giant crocodile." Or was this like somebody said? Uh, you know, somebody pitched him something. I was like, you know, you should branch out from your lawyer stuff. Yeah. And, you know, or maybe it's the same thing. You know, like, mm-hmm. what else can you do? And he's like, you know, I was on vacation and I had yeah. this idea. He was on summer vacation. And in two weeks, he's got a this. script. Better yet, like two know. hours. I think he, he forced this on people. <laughs> I think he was, he's just like, he's like, look oh, what fuck, I love crocodiles for like two weeks. I'm going to write this script. And then he's just like, ah, oh, I'm hot like, right <laughs> now. Make my crocodile script. Like, I, look, I think he forced this because on people. Because it was like supposed to be a dream that Ally McBeal had. And then he was like, it just wouldn't go away, right? I and think he's he like, was sure. I to, it just kept getting longer and sure. longer until someone, it was a movie. Yeah. Someone out there. And I don't think there is an oh, the Venn diagram of people who know Ally McBeal and listen to this show. I'm sure does not overlap. <laughs> I We're mean, gonna find I out. I mean, so I'm on the show and I've never part. watched Ally right. McBeal. Yeah. So, so no, but I've never I'm, watched. I'll, I will bet you somewhere in Ally McBeal there is some sort of crocodile thread that <laughs> comes through in passing. Well, Sean, All right, you Sean need to find it for us. Audience. I will bet right now. So, ladies and gentlemen, for one episode, probably <laughs> only. That he's just like, we're just going to, I can't fully flesh this out or do this whole thing because we're yeah, doing a fucking TV it's show. It's like uh, Joss Whedon when he wrote yeah. a- Alien, uh, which was it, Resurrection? Yep. The one with the the pirate, space pirate crew? That yeah. became like basically his dry run for Firefly, right? Right. It, he Something couldn't like get rid that. of it. It's just, See, yeah, couldn't get rid of it, if, so we did this. If you told me... Stephen King wrote this idea on a napkin and threw it in the garbage and David E. Kelly found it and made it into a movie. 100% believe you. This uh, this story was actually very similar to an episode of X-Files called Quagmire. Do I see that? Probably. Probably. I don't know. You probably do, do you know what season of X-Files? Was that? Mm. I'm curious I, like where on I the might, timeline that... I might have made a note of it. Let me look. Was there a giant alligator? Giant beast? Season three. Okay. Late I've season seen three. it, but I don't recall. All right. yeah. Interesting. Was there a lawsuit? I don't think so. For who? Chris Carter's like, God damn you, David E. Kelly. We're both like working in TV show. Okay. He, he probably watched this and was like, nah, I'm good. Yeah. There's a surprise ending to this movie. What about the cow dangling from the helicopter? Yeah, we haven't talked about that. Can't skip over yeah. Pussy. I feel like I feel like Betty White would have had a problem with that because she's very involved in PETA. Well, which they make a joke of in this movie, but she has a system. Why don't they just use, like hack her system? Yeah, seriously, she feeds it. It comes right out of the water. Like, why not? Just she do brings that? her cow to the water, like the the edge of the water, and the the gator comes out and just grabs it yeah. and pulls yeah, it in. That's like it. An easy, like yeah. switch. To and that they watched it happen. They know this is her method. Did mm-hmm. you guys notice she was nice enough to put a cover over her cow's mm-hmm. eyes so it couldn't see what was yeah, happening right. to and it? She was right. singing to it. Yeah, yeah. I was like, oh, that's kind of kind of <laughs> nice. Like, yeah. you know. 
Whereas, meanwhile, they'd like stress this cow out by for hours dangling it yeah. over the water. And it, like, was a, it, was it goes real, from day to night. It was a real cow, and it was actually scared. I know. I didn't like that. Sad. I feel like it was. I think they yeah. do, because I've seen them do this to other animals before. Uh, helicopter lift them. Uh, MacGyver. <laughs> it happened well, they, MacGyver. <laughs> well, of course. Yeah, of course. Well, but they, they do that like to get burrows them. out of the Grand Canyon. Right, like, they yeah, airlift they them out. Like, yeah. They're like, we're going to blindfold yeah. this animal because it will freak out right. yeah. if we lift them into space, yeah. according to the animal. <laughs> yeah. With a giant ro- blowing fan overhead. Right. I can never yeah. tell with cows, though, because I really was actually thinking that. I'm like, huh, they got that cow in the little whatever diaper thing they have it in that, that's held to the bottom of the uh, It's a the harness, harness, yeah. And, you can call uh, it a diaper if you want. <laughs> Most people well, call it a harness. harness. Yeah. And but the okay. cow's just kind of like, you know, I mean, because they don't have like an expressive face. And I'm like, does the cow like know what's happening? Is it just kind of like, mm, it's kind of windy? Oh, this is kind of cool. I can it's see fine from until up here. they dangle it above the until water. It, yeah. yeah, until yeah. It, it's well, that's what. It, but that's what I'm saying. That's what it seems like. You put a cow and you like I'm flinging it across. Like the cows <laughs> are usually feet on the ground kind of animals. Yeah, and now it's like flying. I would say most of the time, Mostly, and it's kind of yeah. like hmm. This is kind. I'm going to say this, this cow is, cool. is scared to death. But it looks I like think it. the cow has. It's extremely like gotta, limited ways to express itself. Yeah. Maybe, maybe, maybe. That's my thought. Or it's like I'm just kind sure of a really dumb cow. animal. But mm-hmm. it does know self-preservation when yes. its feet touches the water. It's like, yeah. it's like yeah. freaking out because yeah. it knows head goes under the water dead. Uh, yeah, Somehow yeah. it knows that. Well, so, that's, I mean, that's dogs do that. Cats do that. Oh, all, my God. Yeah. Do yeah. That. My yeah. dog, you hold him like a foot above water and he starts like yeah. paddling really crazy. Yeah. 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 He doesn't have to get do close that. to it. So yeah. we're watching this animal get dunked in the water. Basically, the idea being that the uh, the gator, the crocodile, crocodile. the crocodile it is. Doesn't matter, you should Colin. just call it a fucking gator. It doesn't matter. You did Colin. earlier. Yeah, I'm I just did. Going it doesn't it. matter. All right. So the gator is going to basically come up and attack it, and when it does, because now everybody has been convinced, yes, humanely, we have to deal with this gigantic terror that's uh, killing people yeah. by shooting it with tranquilizer darts in the soft underskin of its belly. And so this becomes like the whole like last act of the movie, which yep. was that whole thing stage bound, you think? Was that all built on a stage? It sure felt like it was. That like, like that the dark out there was actually like the back it's very, wall. It's very dark. Yeah, because he brings the helicopter down, and there's a flaming helicopter. Right. Right. I was gonna say that, that, that whole that whole scene was like the helicopter in the water mm. and all that. Yeah, yeah. 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 It seemed yes. really yes. small. It seemed like a really yes. tight space yeah. too. Yeah, yeah. yeah. that way that you can run all... your track like under the water that the alligators like yep. actually on. Yeah, and uh, it ends up uh, uh, it takes down the helicopter and gets stuck in it. Yeah. Yes. And but everybody basically is surviving at this point. There's some like, you know, but then <gasps> surprise. What? Well, you tell me. You brought the movie. Surprise, <laughs> surprise the audience right now. They're all on pins and needles waiting to find out. Well, it's like we got the alligator. I got it. It's trapped. Everything's good, right? They're safe. Bill Pullman Everything comes out safe. and he is going to shoot the fucking thing in the head. And Bridget Fonda talks him down. It what gives him the puppy dog eyes too? Like when he like. That that gator emotes. It is like <laughs> it, it like that is like stone. It is like yeah. stone. that's a Stan Winston special, right? It there. is like stone it gator. Is this short of like whimpering. It's also like my, I thought uh, it was gonna favorite. start. Well, because yeah. you start off with the, yeah. and then you get to the. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And they're like, he doesn't have anything left. Don't do it. They're yeah. like, all of a sudden they're on the side of the gator out of nowhere. Yeah. Sure. This is and, the weirdest fucking plot twist. Uh huh. Uh, yeah. Do gators roar? I don't think they roar. They, they, they roared uh, in this movie. Yeah. Well, they do the <laughs> the hiss. Yeah, but yeah. not like the raw. <laughs> they don't. It's almost. It's this yeah, close to you know Jaws: The Revenge, Godzilla. Screaming. You remember in uh, if you remember our alligator episode, I think the the great gator hunter in that movie actually did the uh, like when a gator is angry or when it's trying to mate, it yeah. does. The oh, that's sound. right. Yeah. <laughs> oh, right. That, that was guy. Yeah. That was a, God, I wish he was in this movie. That would have been uh, great. So then basically the movie's over, Holly, right? I mean, that's it. They caught the thing in the helicopter. Um, the done. credit scene. We got. Oh, come on. That credit scene. Well, before scene? that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Holly's going to surprise us with something. Well, um, we need to see that everyone's okay, right? So yeah. first we see Bill Pullman and, and Bridget Fonda are leaving together, you know, and uh, our, our favorite two are leaving in the ambulance together. Right. You know, sweet. So and we got to catch up with Betty White. What's Betty White doing? Well, she's feeding baby alligators. Well. Chunks just, of bread. Just, wait, wait. Feeding whoa, baby whoa, Jason. Whoa, 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 she's feeding. Yeah. Maybe I didn't set this up right. We got to back up because what? there is this complete, like, 
amazing scene that you left out of this movie, and that is where the second gator appears. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought we were... No, <laughs> but gets yeah. blown up immediately. <laughs> no, but this is... Much like the Meg, it, right. it there is, is another monster. It is the crucial flaw of monster yeah. movies. The Anaconda did it too. Yep, Godzilla. Anaconda did it too. Yep, yeah. There's uh, oh, there's Jaws two of 3D. them. Yeah. Yep. Everything. There's always the other one. There's always yep. the other one. Yeah. Mm. This one there's shows two. up out of the blue. Yep. It's smaller too. Out of it looks the smaller. Deep blue. It's um. Oh, oh it's a kind that's of that's because greenie. it's a female. Oh, yeah. This one. The one that the crocodile. The I mean, that, I guess that one makes one, sense because the, the baby's at the end. Up. The one that attacks was it Oliver? I would have thought the, would have thought the female Gleason. was bigger, uh-uh. and the male would be smaller. Uh huh. Okay. I don't think so. There's mm-hmm. absolutely no damage done to the man, even though he got like attacked by a giant yeah. alligator. He even yeah. says it bit my leg, and there's yeah. nothing on his leg. Yeah. Well, he does end up in a stretcher. Yeah, but there's no That's blood. He well, just like not it. crushed or anything. No, you see his whole body on the beach, and there's nothing, dude. Yeah, it's no blood. Dark. I feel like at that t- at that point, they're just like, let's not waste any time. <laughs> well, on this. Yeah. Yeah. They're not takes coverage care. was not their thing. No. In this movie. no, he takes care of this menace by blasting it with one shot from his fucking grenade launcher, yeah. which yeah. blows the thing. Big gun. The thing shows Check up. It's basically launcher. all right. So it's basically like, bah, I'm here. He goes, <laughs> boom. Thing explodes. Yeah. The like, oh, there was another one. Yep. I can count. <laughs> that is the impact of this. That's it. Yeah. In the movie. Because yeah, well, they want them, they, they want you to be nice to the gator, but they also want you to blow up a fucking gator. So yeah. they make two so he can shoot it. Just so the audience can get that. Right. Yeah, so we, we got yeah. it. But also from the, the filmmakers can say, so no, we, can we get were the, humane. So we can get the Jaws explosion. Yeah. yeah. So Which we is have what that you moment. Want, mm-hmm. yes. they, yeah. Because this no. thing's been terrorizing you for you know, an hour and it like 10 minutes though. at this point. If you if you just stay out, stay away from it, it's fine. <laughs> like, it hasn't been terrorizing anyone. <laughs> right. Yeah. Just it, put up signs. It did Don't tear that, that yeah. deputy's head off pretty nasty. Like, And all he was doing was really. That's one guy. Well, he was baiting. That's true. Yeah. Yeah, mm-hmm. but no, you're right. At the yes. end of the movie, Betty White, Betty White feeding baby alligators. psychotic freak is feeding <laughs> baby alligators. Bread. If bread. I'm, yeah, I was disturbed that she was feeding them bread because I was like, they're not duck. They right. need, they need like, like chicken. Yeah. She should chicken. open a cooler. Chicken nuggets. Yeah. Well, no, well, she should be feeding it meat, but she should open a cooler that has a bag marked with her husband's name. Yeah. Uh, oh. And it's just feeding pieces yeah. of her yeah. husband what's yeah. left of him. Because, like, oh. why why let it go to waste? Yeah. And because we find out she didn't her husband. Kill, her, kill her husband. The fucking alligator right. ate him, of course. This right, is yeah. the better idea. Yeah. Like, yeah. I, I think you should go, like, full psychosis with yeah. Betty White's character sure. at that point. I'd be done with that. Or, like, she, she pulls out a hand and throws it. Something. Yeah. It would have been, She's been yeah, holding Brett all these a... people's heads in coolers. Something. And, yeah. Brett, something. I would like that if she starts pulling out body parts. Yeah. Right. Body, I would something would, be, would have been good at that point. Yeah. Brett is a stupid misdirect because they want us to think it's, like, something benign like ducks. ducks. Right, yeah. But, but we already know she feeds gators, so, like, we know it's not going to be ducks. Yeah. She feeds them cows. Yeah. Right. Like steers. Full grown like, cows, Yeah. yeah. Which yeah. cannot be, those are like 500 bucks a head. Well, how long does right? it take many... to make grow a cow that big? Yeah, she's going to run out real asking. quick. So she's During got a full show. cattle farm, like on top of, yeah, she's like got right like on this three lake? cows, but somehow she's been feeding them for six years. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, she's. this is not. But credit scene, because this makes no sense either. <laughs> so they're going to take <laughs> the, living ga- the living crack to Portland, Maine, and do what with it? I thought Until they were taking it back to, oh, they're going to put it in like a. A, a turbine or something? An oil tanker? Is that what yeah, they said? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and do what it, with it? Keep it there yeah. until they can find a better idea. Oh, so so, so this said. movie has no end, basically. They're going to give it yeah. like little babies. Um, but we see well, it strapped yeah. to a... A basically, flatbed truck on the highway. Which is a like an outtake of like them transporting the prop to the set. But right. it looks like, you know, the dry gator. But it's fun. God damn it, crop. Was, was that what it was? Because the tail was moving. Yeah. Was it? Yeah. Oh, okay, so it was yeah. And an I think shot. the eye was moving a little bit, too. too. Yeah. 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 I, yeah. So, I, I was... Concede. Does My part position. two start with this thing breaking out of off the truck? We're not going to know until like the summer final of sequels. <laughs> not even Sean, Sean will touch it. No. Nope. Sh- Sean's it's vigorously no. shaking his head right now. I was not convinced tonight. <laughs> <laughs> we will not Whoa, be. whoa, whoa. Hold uh, your horses as, there. As text. interesting as uh, sequels may be. We got to uh, wait to find out. And as interesting as these sequels might be. Isn't there a rule about TV movies anyway? Are they all TV movies? Uh, we've yeah, broken that rule. Movies. We've broken that rule. There's a, but yeah, there's, there's yeah, conflict it. with Netflix, Netflix, though. So, you know. Yeah. Hey, you that was a double you, with you a movie. It. That was a double with a movie that was out in theaters. This is a TV movie. There was, I, I found the I think we're going to have loophole. to have an off-mic uh, freak <laughs> show powwow 
to find out, like the the you know whole Spielberg Netflix thing. We're gonna have to meet yeah. like our TV movies. Yeah, if, movies. It, if it's Apple TV, it's okay. I don't okay. Know. I'm, just my, I'm just going by Spielberg rules here. Oh, man, it's just crazy, going by what man. he thinks. Uh, so, are we, uh, so uh, what we're gonna do? We're gonna, <laughs> we're gonna so, go so, around so the what, table Tom? and find out what each one of the Saturday Night Freak Show internet superstars thought of the movie Lake Placid. But before that, we want to answer some of your mail. And to do that, we're gonna have to call Igor. Bring us the mail. Masters, masters, the mail. I've got the mail. So many letters. Our followers are rising, rising. Thanks, Igor. Thanks, buddy. That's all we got. Okay. He's not into this movie. No. He, right. he did not feel. Uh, yeah, uh, we didn't even see him. He just stuck a hand out. Thank he, he, he threw <laughs> a stack of slimy letters on the floor and stormed out. He's not happy Thanks, with Igor. us. Jesus. Wow. Well, uh, this terrible we want to remind twos. you how you can get a hold of us if you want us to read your mail. We hope that you do. Join the Freak Show family. You can join us on Facebook. Facebook.com slash Night Freak Show. Oh, sorry, on Twitter. Like, That's that Freak Show. Call it. Slow down. This is that, you know, the double speed <laughs> yeah. version of the Saturday Night Freak Show. I apologize. Uh, uh, by email. <laughs> Saturday Night Freak Show, Yahoo.com. Or on Instagram at Saturday Night Freak Show. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so Grant Parrish writes in and says, thank you guys for doing what you do. Always a bright point when I have uh, to work on a Saturday. It's much appreciated. Keep it up. Much love. Additional generic support here. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, buddy. Thanks. Appreciate it. That's awesome. <laughs> There's a lot of exclamation. You really hit that rule of threes pretty hard. It, it was successful for me. Yeah. I like it. <laughs> Not bad. Uh, about the movie that we watched tonight, Lake Placid. Mm. B-Movie Poster Vault writes in and says, I have a real soft spot for this flick. It has great performances from the cast, especially Oliver Platt having the best time playing a cocky douchebag and Betty White playing, well, a Betty cocky White. douchebag. Yeah. <laughs> he says it's got good gore effects, a funny script, and a giant friggin' crocodile. Good times. Also worth seeing Aussie croc movies Rogue and Dark Water, plus the 80s B film Alligator. Mm -hmm. Oh, we've seen Alligator. Like yeah, I alligator. love it. Have you listened to our episode on Alligator? You should listen That's to our right. Episode on alligator. I saw Rogue because uh, that was from the director How of Wolf that? Creek. Mm -hmm. Oh, and it's got Rod Mitchell in it. It's like oh, a oh, maybe I have down. seen that. Yeah, remember when Rod Mitchell was a thing? Yeah, yeah. yeah. This was in that. That came like, and went really quickly. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it did. It yeah. was like it was a thing, and then gone. Yeah, that was a Dimension yeah. Extreme movie. Oh, oh, was it? oh, oh no, that's but a shame. I think uh, oh, Alexandra or yeah. Alexander, Alexandra, Alexander Aja, Alex yeah. Aja. Mm -hmm. He's making a giant. Uh, All right, crawler. Crawl. Okay. Uh, cool. Yes, yeah. Which you know. I'll, I'll go for. see it. It's yeah, been good. twenty years, right? Mm -hmm. it's yeah, about we're on the yeah, twenty-year cycle. Yeah. I'm for it. I'll take one. Uh, Travis Legler writes in and, and quotes: "If I had a dick, this is where I would tell you to suck it." This is the proper sum up for the sequels to Lake Placid. I kind of wish Oliver Platt's character was eaten while swimming back to his helicopter. Otherwise, it's a fun turn off your brain movie. Let's not forget there was that line also: "Chew the bark off my big fat log." Which right. Oliver Platt said to <laughs> Brendan Gleeson, I think. Oh, because there's a lot I mean, of dick sucking euphemisms. There in this really movie. is. David E. Kelly, he's a wordsmith. I mean, he's a clever, clever writer. Sure. Is that what he? That's how sure, how you want to say it, Colin. Very right. clever. Uh, I think he's just worried about dicks. Uh, <laughs> it would seem. <laughs> Uh, about last week's episode, where we watched RoboCop 2. MF Mad, the keeper of the wall, writes yeah. in and says that RoboCop is on the A list. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, damn. I think right. Sorry, that would be right. the A team. Yeah. All right, the A team. Not the B yeah. team. Not the B team. <laughs> no. Or we clearly think that. Robocop's on the B team. I think he's, I think he's B team. I think he's we B team. didn't. I, I just want that to. I just, wait. Oh, go ahead. Oh, I was going to say, I want to intercede in that. Um, I think we lost the thread in the Robocop 2 uh, uh, discussion. Um, uh, Elvis did not amount to anything in that movie. Like, I think we, we tried to go back to it and we're just like, ah, it's nothing. It's nothing. <laughs> nothing. Absolutely nothing. nothing. Yeah, it's we, just yeah. But we just, we dressing. never explored, like, why? Why? We never found out why. Does anybody yeah. know why? I don't Elvis know. Elvis's corpse makes an appearance in that movie? I don't mm -hmm. know. Yeah. yeah. We just lost it. No idea. Uh, Simon Carter writes in and says, I've always felt Robocop 2 is one of those cases where the original script had some great ideas. But by the time it reached the screen, most of those had been lost. It's not all bad, and there's some decent elements. Just somebody, or it just seems that nobody at production level had a clue why the first one was so great. 
but at least it's not RoboCop 3, which would make a good tagline. RoboCop 2, be glad it's not 3. At least it's not RoboCop 3. <laughs> I wish With flying ninjas. I wish some some movie would have the balls to make a tagline like that, like referencing a fuck up they did in the past, you know? Right. Like, like, especially with all these, like, X-Men time-traveling movies that undo previous movies and stuff, be like, you know, like, reference that a little bit. Mm -hmm. Especially if you're going to undo it in the movie. Yeah. Come on, marketing campaigns. Get on it. Usually, when they do that, though, the movie is not very good. Well, about the... At least the, they made the effort. This, <laughs> about the prior week's episode. Waxwork, Karate Warrior 2 writes in. What and he Dom says, uh, the Vestron video logo was always a sign that some entertaining shit was about to go down. <laughs> they are re-releasing a bunch of old stuff, according to the Vestron Facebook group. However, I'm sure that you are across that. Well, it's absolutely goddamn right. true, Dom. We've got a couple of them. Yeah, we do. Yeah. We do indeed. We're, we're looking at it. We're getting you dragged own it. Slaughter High? Slaughter High, yes. Okay. There's some other ones on that list. I've that got I wanna, Warlock. I want to watch. Warlock series. Like we, we mentioned uh, Society. Society's on there. Yeah. I've always wanted to watch that. And the, the Wishmaster. The Wishmaster collection. You got that. Collection. Right? No. Yeah. Oh, you didn't get that? I got the you Warlock got collection. Oh, the Warlock collection. Yeah. Right. Yeah, right. right. And the, wax, the Waxwork collection. Right, yeah. That's why I like what they're doing. They're just putting the sequels together. Yeah. Like, it doesn't matter. There's four of them, they'll put them out. Yeah, just put them out. Mm, that's uh, awesome. It's I'll, good. I'll yeah. buy that, yeah. Oh, yeah, put that out there. Uh, Michael Whitaker says, uh, David Warner's outfit alone should have been a tip-off that something was up. He looks like a Batman villain. He yeah, he does. does. That orange tail that's, jacket. That's, yeah, yeah. That's, it's purple. It's very it's bizarre. It's, it's weird. It's weird. Uh, Pat Nowacki says, fun fact, Friday the 13th, the game used Waxwork star Deborah Foreman's face for one of its loading screens before it got the rights. Uh, oh, before it got the rights of Friday the 13th, when they were still calling it summer camp. I think the famous scene. Wait, is it the, the PS, like the new game or the old NES? No, game? the new one. Oh, really? There, when it was called summer camp, there's a shot of a topless, uh, uh -huh. teenage, uh, camp counselor, uh -huh. like standing in the lake. Turning back, around I've seen the, that. Yeah, that's Deborah Foreman. That is a shot from Waxwork. Really? And, yeah, because I think it's the scene where after she visits the Marquis de Sade God. and oh. Zach Galligan's rescuing her, right. she looks back, and that's the shot that they use. Gotcha. Uh, I mean, I, yeah, I've seen that loading screen many times. I know. So thank you, Pat, for pointing that out. Yeah, that's awesome. That's what you learn things when you listen I to did, the Saturday I, Night Free I Show. I learned something. Uh, we learn things, yeah, John, and we do too. Yeah. Johnny New Jersey writes in and says, well, wax work is a movie. I'll say that. I didn't enjoy this one. Colin's theory of we cared more about characters in the 70s and 80s doesn't hold up on this one. I cared for no one in this movie. And all I could think during this movie was I could be watching Gremlins instead. If I want to see adults being weird and gross monsters against a black haired 80s teen, I'll watch 1989 Society instead. Yeah, watch yeah fair enough. I yeah. society's too gross for me. We, yeah, we didn't it. really care about any of the characters, but all yeah. the rest of it was a lot of fun. Well, I think you know, I keep saying that they wrote more interesting characters in the eighties. This, of course, is an exception. This is the sure. everybody's mm -hmm. a fucking you know douche to yeah. each other, and yeah, okay. So that's all we have. And now. Zach Gallagher sure. was bad in that movie. We established yeah. that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, it was not it's great. Not, uh, yeah, well, there was a whole discussion about. Yeah. It. Listen to that episode. Yeah. It's pretty good. Fun mm -hmm. movie. Uh, I've got one more, Colin. Oh, here we go. Uh, while we were while we were watching the movie, I hopped on Twitter and I asked Meredith Salinger, who is uh, also one of the uh, stars stars of this movie, um, and she's of Lake very, Placid of Lake saying. Placid, and she's very close to being on the wall. Mm -hmm. We've got two down, so we've got one more to go. Lake Placid and uh, uh, Village of the Damned, right? John Carpenter's Village of the Damned. I said, uh, I said, hey Meredith, we're watching Lake Placid tonight. Any special memories of this one? Uh, she replied, so many. Uh, sitting in a hot tub with my uniform between takes with Oliver Platt. Uh, wait, maybe I was just sitting next to the hot tub. So apparently. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, oh, that's great. So uh, That's awesome that she replied to that. It is. It's very nice yeah. that she replied to that. That's and awesome. so very quickly. So uh, we appreciate that. Yeah. There you go. Awesome. So there that's we awesome. go. Mm. It's almost I'm like a, we I'm had a big fan of her. So I like her. Yeah. Oh, no, yeah, yeah. No, yeah. Right? Yeah. <laughs> so thank you for replying to us. Yeah. Miss Salinger. That's we great. Appreciate that's it. great. Um, so now we're going to go around the table to tell you what we thought of Lake Placid, starting with Colin. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Sean, for that enthusiastic. No problem, sir. That's what I'm here for. What do um, you think about tonight's movie, Lake Placid? It's, um, I mean, okay. So you go into it and it's like giant monster movie, right? Uh, I'm you, trying you to think like, what's the best of the nineties giant monster movies? I really don't know. Like I didn't think. No, I didn't like that one either. 
I mean, like that one. I didn't like you liked it. I Yeah, I know, but they could all be bad. Oof. You still got to figure out the best one. I am probably forgetting the best one. I think we're forgetting a bunch of them. I mean, you know, Anaconda. Was, I guess we'd probably consider arachnophobia. And then, then it's arachnophobia. Yeah, but uh, oh, it, another not... one that I brought. Yeah. Oh, if you know we're going, <laughs> if we're going straight theatrical Wait, and shit. Oh, oh, oh I got it. Dante's Peak. Giant monster is the fucking volcano that's going to explode. No, 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 <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> Come on, no. that is natural that movie, phenomenon yeah. like that. Or but natural, that movie that's a natural is disaster Jaws movie. with a instead of a shark, it's got okay, a volcano. Okay, fine, fine. Then Twister is mine. That's a disaster. Ooh, that's even there better. There we go. All right, all right. Gonna, let's all get behind. I think we'd oh all get behind Twister. Yes. All right. Uh, <laughs> I, like Bruce. I don't support I like, any of this. I like Michaela's just like, no. No, no. <laughs> no. It has to be a not creature. No, not sentient. sentient. Yeah. I don't, did Wait. you watch Twister? Yeah, yeah. It, it destroyed this house, and then it destroyed that house, and it, it came, came right for you. Yeah. yeah. No, the sky was talking. The sky was talking. Yeah. It's a monster movie. No. All right. It's settled, Twister. Um... Yeah, starring so, the better of the Bills. Yeah, that's right. Better yeah, yeah. Bill Paxton was much much better than Bill Pullman. Bills? Don't worry. Don't <laughs> get me wrong. I like Bill Pullman. Was that a celebrity death match episode? Probably. It had to I have been. Like right? it was. Probably. I feel like it was. I mean, I like Bill Pullman in certain movies, but sure. like for the most part, he is just bland, right? Yeah. Unless Bill the director Pullman's knows how to movie. use him. Lost Highway. No, I don't know if that's true. Independence uh, Day is what everybody knows him for. Sure. Uh, accidental tourist? No, okay, we're gonna go with uh, yeah. I'm gonna say did he lost. Play a clown in the movie somewhere. I think so. I think he's he in westerns he now. He was in a western recently. Yeah. But, um, this movie suffers from a lack of uh central protagonist. Right? I mean, my love for Bridget Fonda, be damned. She her character is not well written. She's just like annoying, and grating. Bill Paxton's not really there. Um. So it becomes about Brendan Gleeson, the curmudgeon, versus, uh, you know, uh, Oliver Platt, which I'm like, clearly these guys are going to be- end up best friends after this movie. Sure. After that, like, you know, ambulance ride, like they're best friends. Um, so, I mean, their the whole thing was kind of interesting. And the dialogue between them was amusing because they were just like insulting each other the whole mm. time. Uh, as far as like a giant monster movie, it really does kind of feel like this is a guy. I guess I said it before. This is a guy who is dabbling in a genre because he thinks it's, you know, kind of amusing. And he's just kind of not necessarily making fun of it. He's just having a lark, right? I think he doesn't the, uh, take it serious. It's not a serious enterprise for David E. Kelly. I think, I think he feels that the uh, crocodile is incidental in this movie. Yeah, or it becomes like this thing of like, you know, you have a monster, you have Godzilla in your movie, you got to bring the thing down, it's killing everybody, it's a giant thing, you got to kill it. The giant, uh, whatever, anything. Mm-hmm. This one, it's like, no, no, you're supposed to feel empathy for the thing because it's a living, you know, creature, and it's, mm-hmm. you know, and I'm like, you're missing the point of monster movies, right? It's like, yeah, I get, like, you know, animals and all that stuff, but this is a completely like different went, thing. This like, is a crazy mutant beast. It's like he went the road of, like, King Kong at the end. You know, no, but King Kong, at least you had empathy for the creature because it had an intelligence and was well, that's in what I'm saying. The, he, he tried to do that. Even creature from yeah. the Black Lagoon did it better. This is a yeah. fucking alligator. Or, God damn it. It doesn't matter, Colin. It doesn't matter. It's a big matter. scaly reptile. And uh, it's a dinosaur. Yeah, that's right. Call it a dinosaur. You just kill the thing. It's killing everybody else's giant. You got to get rid of it. Boom. That would have been more of like a rah, rah kind of, you know, uh, rally behind the characters. And this one, like, just goes, I don't know. It, it has no punctuation to it. Mm-hmm. The mm-hmm. biggest thing that happened was the guy getting torn in half at the beginning of the movie. Yeah, that was the most gore we got. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And after that, it's just like, pff, I don't know why you need to see this. I mean, I know that there's a he lot really of. Hopes his, he really thinks his characters are interesting enough. Like, yeah, he but, he's he, he but, he's but he's wrong. But he's wrong. But he's wrong. Because he can't even focus on, like, who who is the main character in this movie. Mm-hmm. Like, I know you're going to say it by default, it's all Bill Pullman. No, it's all but is it? Is it Bridget Fonda? No, it's definitely, Fonda? It's definitely not. But it's supposed to be Bridget Fonda. Is it? It's supposed to be. Well, okay. You know, it, maybe. It's an ensemble piece <laughs> then. Everybody has equal screen time. And, you know, so, um, yeah, I mean, I wouldn't recommend. Is it the best movie ever made about a giant crocodile definitely in not. Maine? 
<laughs> a, few cave- a few caveats, but we'll get past that. And I haven't seen the sequel, so I assume it's better than them. If you want a crocodile good time, I don't know. Yeah, go, go watch, watch Alligator. alligator. <laughs> uh, and- I love it. If you want a crocodile good time, go watch Alligator. Yeah, there you go. That's the final love word, it. Sean. Um, Damn, I was disappointed. Uh, I watched this movie a lot growing up, and... Uh, I always had a good time with it, and I always remember. I was sitting here quoting, you know, I was Brendan Gleeson and yeah. Oliver Platt during yeah. the movie, because, um, like we said, that's the kind of the best relationship in this movie. Everything else is just kind of like not really there. Like Bill Pullman's not interesting. Neither is Bridget Fonda in this movie. The only people who are having any sort of like, I, I hesitate to use the word meaningful interaction, but I mean, you know, is 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 those two, uh, Brendan Gleeson and Oliver Platt. Um, Man, this really should have been a killer crocodile movie, and boy was it not. Like they needed he needed to eat some fucking people or something. There needed to be some more interesting elements to this movie. Because like I said, David E. Kelly thinks that his characters are the most interesting part of this movie, and they are not. And uh that is the downfall of this movie. So while I was uh excited to watch it again tonight, and as excited as I was to watch it when I was younger, um I am very disappointed uh with this movie. And uh, I cannot recommend it. Um, I can only say that uh, maybe you go watch the sequels. Although they're made for TV, right? Made so they can't TV. be very good. Mm-mm. Ugh, even that sounds disappointing. Yeah. Is it like Gatoroid versus Piranaconda or something? I mean, like maybe that's we something. maybe that's where we should be. I don't know. I'm just gonna <laughs> say uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna double down on go watch Alligator. Like mm-hmm. that's the movie. Like that's the that's the one that's exciting and uh, and uh, gives you something to you know. Uh, there's something to that movie at least. Uh, this I don't know. This I was bored during this watching it again. This will be the last time I watch this one. Uh, mm-hmm. I pass on Lake Placid. Never thought I'd say it, Michaela. <laughs> uh, I'm kind of on the fence because like I've seen this movie a million times. I feel mm. like this was on TV all, all the, the time. time. Like TNT showed this like nonstop. I'm sure think- there was like HBO making ups. Yeah, HBO well, first look. It's gotta it be like, like it's gotta be cheap to buy because it's short and like you can probably extend it to like two hours with commercials if you want. Mm-hmm. It, it's definitely a movie you can like fold laundry to and like not miss anything. Like go down to the washer, get your laundry, come back up and not miss anything. <laughs> yeah, you just kind come of, back up and be like, yeah. count the characters. Yeah, like, right, they're still all there. We're but still like, good. What's the body count in this movie? Two, uh, two, three, maybe. I think uh, it's two. Uh, the guy at the beginning dies. The deputy gets his head and that's it, off, right? And that's it. That's it. Yeah, that's it that's for it. a giant crocodile movie. Yeah, yeah. That, but there's also Shame. only like seven characters in this whole movie. Right. You know, Shame. Mm-hmm. the scope's too small. It's too bad. It's not Friday the Thirteenth. Just insert a crocodile because right. it's we, right there. You're right. almost there. We need just, more. Oh, we, oh, need, we, we need more of those Jaws views where you see it coming out of the water and right, that's eating people. The, and Piranha and Jaws had that. Yeah. There's always like the uh, the camp is opening downstream. Exactly. Or whatever. Yeah. Mm. Or the, the new the uh-huh. fairgrounds open and we got to stop this thing before it gets there and exactly. like, goes some yeah. crazy. Yeah. Yeah. Even yeah. The Meg figured that one out. Yeah. 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 That's the classic yeah. structure. Yeah, exactly. Right. There's, 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 there's no urgency because they're, they're not trying to stop the gator no, from yeah. doing they something. To, they have to keep Bill Pullman from killing it. No, That's, there's there's no stakes to this movie because there's no people to no, be. No, there's murdered. no one to save. Right? Yeah, there's there's no. They could all stand at the shore and be like. Yeah, honestly, they could it? all just forget what they saw and go back to their day jobs, and everything would be fine. Like, yeah. because although, time, although, although say, yeah. realistically, it's not contained just to the water; it can go on land. They sure. just right, but they no just, one lives there. It's so no really, problem. Well, I mean, it can walk to town. It like, could, they just don't well, really yeah. explore but, that. They just don't really explore. But that. it's from what Betty White says; it's been living there for a while with yeah. no problems. God, if this it thing didn't become to town. a problem until yeah. the beaver tagger came. Like, it was not it literally was Again, not a problem. <laughs> tagging beavers. <laughs> like, like they're they're got set up the beaver hole. He did at the beginning. Oh. He really did. Can he now? What does his business card say? I wonder. Beaver tag. Is it beaver tagger? <laughs> tagger of beavers. Yeah. Just gonna keep going with this He's joke until going. no one laughs anymore. Mm-hmm. Michaela, I'm so sorry. <laughs> uh, it just there's there's no stakes to this movie because there isn't enough people to establish stakes. Um, and if you're gonna have a small amount of people in a movie, it needs to be like a bottle situation where they can't escape one another. And there's no reason for they, any of our characters to stay here. Like, there's they, no reason right, for them where they to can't stay walk here. back to a road yeah, and like, be safe. They're not stuck anywhere. There's yeah. absolutely no reason for them to keep, like, keep at this task. Like, mm. they could all just, like I said, they could all go back to their day jobs and it'd be fine. 
they do file a you know a case about the beaver tag or whatever but like that's it like and the this the, it's there is there you could write a good version of this movie sure and I can't believe a guy that created that many TV shows couldn't figure it out like yeah it, Focused on like characters. it just I guess it just shows how hacky sitcom writing is right. Like mm, I wouldn't call all sitcom writing hacky at all. His is like his, okay. This true. guy created like nine TV series. Like they had to have all been the same copy paste. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like, like oh dude, all I do like my wife is like addicted to like network sitcoms TV are shows. have not changed in like sixty years. <laughs> They're all the them, same. But if you hear them without seeing it, like, yeah, it's like the worst dialogue. Yeah, it, it is. Like, it's just, like the most hackneyed stuff. You're like. What the? F- I mean, it's, it's terrible. Yeah, yeah no, si- sitcoms have not changed in like sixty years. It's all the same. It's the same joke structure. It's the same. You're waiting for the laugh track cue, and mm. like it's. I feel like he employs a lot of that style in this movie, and it doesn't work. Uh, but like at the same time, there's weird things that happen in this movie that maybe it's worth watching. Like, what is Brennan Gleason doing? It seems like I, I get very much Marlon Brando and uh, um, Doctor Moreau vibes from him. <laughs> like phoning it in, doesn't give a fuck doesn't care if he's doing a terrible job. That was the, like the sense I got from him, especially because like there was very, a lot of lines where it felt like he just didn't finish saying the line. Uh, like he left off the last three words of whatever his line was, but I don't, I don't know if you should seek it out just for those things. So I think I'm going to pass on it. But like I said, I'm on the fence because I have seen it a ton. <laughs> I mean, so it's, it's no sleepwalkers. No, it's no sleepwalkers. No. Absolutely not. not. It's no sleepwalkers. Alligator is like is obviously the way better version of this. Absolutely, go watch Alligator a hundred percent. Holly, I hadn't seen this movie in about fifteen years. It's been a while. Um, oh, yikes! I, I was I was sitting here wondering like it has a lot of similarities to the Meg, but which one did I dislike more? The Meg. You think the Meg? Really? So I don't I know. Just, I think I kind of... Yeah, I would get I, Meg very, and I'm, edge up on... This, this movie went for the creature attacking the helicopter that Meg did not when they could have. I was going to say, when it that? comes down to it, this movie gave me one thing I wanted that I didn't get from the Meg, and that was the creature yeah, attacking the fucking Attacks helicopter. The helicopter. Cause, cause that's but the all, Meg couldn't do it because Jaws 2 did it. That's all I wanted The Meg, the Meg could do sure. anything it wanted to do and, yeah, just, I don't and think decided it, not to. I don't think it needed to follow any rules. I think the Meg was doing whatever the fuck it wanted to. Yeah. And decided to be a boring shark yeah uh, boring <laughs> that's his biggest crime that movie was boring boring it was boring but this was boring too this, yeah, was, this boring. was boring this, this was boring as answer, fuck yeah. the the monster only had about three minutes of screen time in this and I'm sorry but that's a fucking crime it was a uh, it was a cool looking crocodile like I liked the design of the monster I thought it was great but only giving it three minutes, and the only gore we got was the body getting chopped in half. Yeah, like, go kill some people. Go like, find, like, that's all we get. This movie is ripe for a. Uh, I mean, they even mention it. Well, if people come up to the lake, they'll get hurt. Well, so somebody went up and came camping for the weekend, and yeah. we show them, and it, uh, they die, and then yeah, something. Yeah, like Michaela said, give us some stakes. Give us something, something to go um, on. There was just there was nothing happening in this. And I know he banked so much on how his characters were written. I think his characters sucked. And I think that was one of the biggest problems with this is that I don't know that it was necessarily the actor's fault. I think it was the writing and the direction. I don't think they had either. I, I, I don't know if it was entirely their fault. I think they were doing what they could with what they had, but I don't think they were given much. I think this, I think it was directed... The reason why this movie is so short, I feel like it was definitely directed based on how it was written. Yes. It's like, let's get Absolutely. in and get out. I think Steve Miner Absolutely. knew it's just like, we need to get out of here. We and, need to get out of here quick. Yeah. Do and you think David E. Kelly handed Steve Miner some like handwritten scripts. I think David E. Kelly was on set every day. <laughs> oh, I'm sure he was. <laughs> is what I feel. That was his tent they were filming in. Uh, yeah. Might have been. Like, oh, God. There was just no natural flow in this. Like, you know, I. I, I think it, I think it was a lot of, um, you know, going back to his sitcom experience. Scenes ended like a sitcom. It didn't end like movie scenes at all. And it felt like there should have been act breaks or commercial breaks yeah, in this movie. I agree. I totally agree. Yeah, slow fades to black. And and I knew we were in trouble at the very beginning when we meet the character of Kelly 
and there's that whole relationship thing, but they'd never explain who she is or what her purpose is going to be. They just go to the next scene. And I'm like, well, what the fuck is she doing? Like, yeah. who is yeah, she? They did. They cut away to yeah. go to the to the lake and everything. I'm like, wait, yeah. what? what? If, I like, if I didn't know the movie already, I exactly. would be questioning this. Like, what, what's going on? Well, exactly. The, yeah, but they do pay that off. Well, like they do the eventually. Scene, yeah. They in pay the it. tent where she's like, the reason I'm here and going through all this is because no, yeah, I, I don't want to go back. I, I get that, but there's no natural flaw. Like, it's just like, <laughs> what the fuck was that what's the point of that i know they do explain why but you can't just you can't direct a scene that way it doesn't make sense and the fact that she's choosing to be with a killer crocodile because going home is too awkward Mm. who makes that choice that's not it she's never felt more alive oh my god no no this no it's fucking bullshit this movie sucks (laughs) no (laughs) pass giant pass this movie sucks dumb dumb all right, so that is a big. Uh, it's your fault. Huh? Give it the big middle, the Saturday Night Freak Show middle finger. <laughs> the big Saturday Night Freak Show middle finger for like. There needs to be a sound effect. We hit the soundboard on with that. Do you- the, and we give this movie the big middle finger. <laughs> it's just like, yeah. Fuck you. Do you want the tagline? <laughs> oh no. Do you want yes, the tagline? I do. You'll never know what bit you. What? You will though. It's a giant yes. fucking alligator. You won't know exactly what they use. <laughs> well, they didn't know at first. They had to find the tooth <laughs> to figure it out. Yeah. That tagline. Yeah. 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 Well, you got to build your suspense right. for a Lake little Flaccid. while. Lake it. It's not so calm under this lake. Something. I don't know anything. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. I thought for terror. I thought for point five seconds. Terror I'm lives a just line. beneath the surface. Yeah. Something. Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh, okay. Well, here's, uh, you gonna go somewhere else for your giant mm-hmm. monster fix. Yep. Next week, we're going to be watching a movie that's chosen by... Michaela. Michaela, what are we watching next week? Summer's rolling around, Uh but Summer of Canon is not returning because we have exhausted our options. I mean, can I say that now? Yeah. Yeah, Thank God. No, our last summer nearly killed me. She's like, now it's the summer of full moon. No, no. Full moon Um, features. Here we go. Puppet Master, we did that already. Dr. Mordred. I don't have a snazzy name for this one, so maybe you guys can come up with one. We'll figure something out. We are going to... Take a look at a variety of like man versus nature movies. Mm. Uh, and we're going to start with the domestic with man's best friend with Ali Sheedy and Lance Henriksen. Uh, <laughs> I just watched. Okay. Uh, so it's, I can't uh, wait. It's your fault. So it's, yeah. the, it's the when nature attacks summer. Yes. Yeah. yeah yes. When, when nature attacks. Attack. Genetically engineered. When nature yeah. attacks summer. Yeah. Like summer yeah. being the thing. Yes. Yeah. Yes. All right. When nature so. attacks. When nature attacks, yeah. isn't that the, like it's the Fox over? show or something that they had at one point? Probably, remember? yeah, yeah. Uh, We're gonna start okay. with the domestic. Oh, we'll yeah. go outside eventually. Okay, so next week, man's best friend, Lance mm-hmm. Henderson, mm-hmm. and, and Ali Sheedy, and a dog. Okay, mm-hmm. uh, and until then, ladies and germs, uh, the basement is going dark.